Hey. Yeah. Uh, there has to be something. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Sorry, my internet's kind of wacky. So, um, are you vegan by chance? Yes. That's why this is the um, debate the vegan show. Now, what's your argument against veganism? All right. So, in my opinion, our mouths and our digestive system is supposed to not is supposed to digest meat. We are made to be carnivores. Look at your teeth. Um, through evolution, humans have survived off meat. All right. So there's many things wrong with us. First of all, um, no, there's no evidence that we are carnivores. Um, meat is meat takes longer to digest in the systems, longer than fruit, fruits and plants, things like that. Um, uh, meat, meat is also harmful for us in many ways. It leads to heart disease, cancer, things like that. But more importantly, we can eat plant-based options and be perfectly healthy. We can be vegan and be perfectly healthy. There's no need to eat animal products. So, yeah, sure, we can eat it, but it's not necessary. Do you agree? Uh, believe it or not, yeah, I do agree. But I just don't, like, I just don't understand why we should when, like, think about, I, I'm guessing this is not good of an example, but like the economy, uh, like let's see, truckers, uh, butcher shops, farmers, ranchers, all that just consists of meat. Um, like your plants, a lot of your plants based things like plant based meat comes from farmers, comes from ranchers that raise meat without meat. You're not going okay. to get your plants. Because believe yeah, that's, meat that's brings false. in that, way that's more ridiculous. profit. That's ridiculous. We we don't grow plants. Uh, we don't grow plants because of animals. The opposite. We we grow plants because we have to feed the animals that you're killing. So I wasn't talking about that. I was saying meat brings in a lot more profit than plants. I'm a rancher. I know that. So a lot of ranchers they sometimes grow plants on the side. A lot of farmers sometimes grow plants on the side. Yeah, there's greenhouses and stuff like that. But most of your uh, plants come from meat farmers that use. Okay, great. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does We're matter. Talking about, we are talking about what is more ethical here, sir. Right. What you're arguing for is, oh, well, the farmers, they, they make money off of meat. Well, uh, slave owners made money off their slaves, right? Just because you can make profit off of something doesn't make it ethical. We're, we're talking about what is more ethical here. Um, there's plenty of profit to be made in plant-based options. Plant, there's a whole plant-based market waiting to be opened up. Plant-based milks and plant-based alternative, alternative meats and things like that. There are many good, many good alternatives that are profitable when it comes to plant-based foods. We don't have to rely on animal products. All we need mm -hmm. is for people to recognize that we can transition over to plant-based markets. We don't have to. We don't have to stay as meat eaters. So again, what justifies killing and abusing billions of animals? What justifies that? Um, the only thing I can really understand uh, that I can really say is uh, the economy, which that that's not an argument, um, and people just liking me. Do you believe in hunting, land reservation, and land? Preserves and stuff no, like I that. Think hunting, is bad. Hunting, is, hunting is intentionally killing animals. What justifies killing animals, sir? What justifies that? Um, so there is, like, you, of course, a circle of life, right? Um, so if you believe that there is an animal, I've actually had this encounter, there's an elk stuck, stuck in a fence. Its leg was broken. If I didn't kill it, it was going to suffer. Would you kill it? Or would you just let it be there? Well, I would. I would try to. I would try to get out of that person or that elk out of that situation as much as ethical as possible. I wouldn't just kill it. But if there it, was no way, but that's not. That's no way not. To hold me. on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. This Go has ahead, nothing sorry. to do with veganism. Veganism is a. It's an ethical stance that we want to minimize animal cruelty. We want, we want to minimize animal killing, animal death. What? Do you agree that we should minimize killing animals and minimize, as much as practically possible, abusing animals? Yes, but I do not believe everyone should okay, go right. vegan. Then go vegan. Then you, then you, then you, you I agree don't believe everyone should go vegan. Though, sir. 
there's I think I feel like that we should work on making the animals have a better life. I feel like there should be a longer lifespan of animals. Well, and that's then, never gonna happen, yeah. sir. The the demand for meat is too high. That's why we have to do factory farming. That's why ninety nine percent of all the animals in the world are factory farmed. Their lives are miserable because there's so much demand on these poor animals to be killed. You're never gonna get rid of that. You're never gonna end that. More and more importantly, um you're still killing the animal at the end of the day. You're still taking the life away from an animal for no reason. That is wrong to me. Why not let them be? Why do we have to exploit them? Why do we have to kill them? Why? It's a resource for protein. It, there's so many things, animal, there's so many things based off of animals. It's not even funny. Okay. That's not my problem, sir. We can get protein from plant-based foods. Do you agree? Like what? What type of protein off plant-based foods? We can get the same protein, the same amino acids from plant-based foods. Do you agree? Sure. Okay, great. So then what justifies killing animals if we can replace it with plant-based foods? Uh, there's, you're, we're made to be carnivores. It's studies shown that we are made to be, like, look at your, well, look at no, your teeth. We're sir. supposed to. Yes, Our yes. Look at your teeth. Tiny. Our teeth your digestive are tiny system is supposed to digest meat. No, that digestive system does your not body need. You have meat. to eat animal products. That's this is incorrect. And more importantly, it doesn't matter. We if, don't. If people have did not to kill, kill meat, we would not be around today. We don't today. have to kill the animals anymore. We're not cavemen. But I'm saying, if there is no meat. We would not be around today, and we should continue I it. I don't give a because crap. If, we don't if have we to do eat not eat meat anymore. If we, we do no not eat meat, we're not going to get the amount we of no protein or have to kill animals. We it's, no longer have to kill it's them. It's fine. It's fine, dude. They won't. They're... His signal was off. There's an echo. Hey, what do you got? Whoa, hello there. Great, what's your argument today? Uh, so you're saying that we should not kill animals anymore at all? No, the, veganism is about minimizing animal cruelty as much as practically possible. Do you agree? Uh, at like, for saying like killing dogs and stuff like that? Yeah, we shouldn't kill dogs. We shouldn't abuse them. Do you agree? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, yes. No, we should not kill dogs. No, I'm talking like like deer and animals like that. Yeah, we shouldn't kill deer either. We should let them be. Oh, oh, see, no. God put deer on the planet for us to eat. How do you know that? Because it says so in the Bible. Now, it I know you're an atheist, can talk and in I know the you Bible, think highly sir. of yourself. It also says that donkeys what? can talk in the Bible. The Bible's nonsense. And But more importantly... The, just because the, does Bible say that in the Bible something doesn't mean it's good, right? First well, of all, just the because Bible you not, say something doesn't mean it's hold good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The Bible does not say you have to eat animal products. It does not say that. It doesn't say I can either. It doesn't say I can either. Right, but it doesn't say you have to. What, and, and by the way, your God is a Christian God, which is you claim compassionate and loving. Do you think it's compassionate to shoot a deer in the head? Do you think it's compassionate to send guys to hell? Well, he still does. No, it's not compassion. That's that your God's an evil God. Then. Uh, you do realize that the reason people go to hell and stuff like that is because he wants us to follow him. But when people don't do that, that's whenever you go to hell. Oh, how egotistical! Because you disobeyed him. How you disobeyed him. We didn't worship your sky daddy. Hence, we all gonna burn in hell forever. Now, that's pathetic, sir. I'm talking about ethics. What is more ethical want to you? To so, shoot a so, No, no, stop, stop, sir. No, use your no, you don't tell me when to stop. Use your brain for a second. What no, do you use your of, brain. What is more ethical to you? Shooting a deer in its head for no reason or oh, letting no, it Oh, no, there's a reason or, for me or, to Oh, no, no, or, or hold on. Yep. Shooting yep. a deer yep. in its head for no reason or letting it be. Shooting a deer in the head for no reason. How is that more ethical to you than just leaving it alone? Because I can skin it and eat it. So you can do the same with a human. I can skin and kill a person. Should we, should we do that no, too? No, that's – well, that's a person. So you're going to go to jail for murder. Okay, great. So what's, go what is the moral difference between a person and a deer that will justify us killing the deer? Uh, the animal doesn't have a soul. 
buddy. Neither do you, buddy. Souls don't exist. Oh, I do have a soul, buddy. Where's You're your evidence of a soul? Where's your evidence of a soul? Where's your evidence of a soul? Look, I understand. By the way, by the way you hold on. You're so cool way, because on, you're an hold atheist. On, hold on, hold on. If we found out tomorrow that deers actually have souls, would you stop eating deer? Well, we're not going to find that out because they don't. But what if because we? Because it doesn't say so in the Bible. What if tomorrow we found out that deers had souls? Would you? Would you stop eating deer? Hmm. I probably would, but guess what? In okay, the Bible, good. it doesn't say they have a soul. And what in if, the Bible, what if, what if let we me found out tomorrow? Buddy. What it if, says I can about, eat it. It says I can what, eat it. What if humans didn't have a soul? Would that justify murdering? Well, we do have a soul. What if we didn't have a soul? Would that justify killing each other? I mean, no. But your really? argument, your really? argument is so. So at all. what you're saying is the soul doesn't matter now. Now you're, now you're, uh, this is a contradiction in your worldview. Now what you're saying is the soul doesn't matter because it, it applies to de deer, but not to me. That's a contradiction in your worldview. So again, what just- But you're a human animals. being. You're a human being. You're what's not an animal? animal. Okay, I, we are animals, we, but what's, what's no, we're the not. difference human between beings. an animal and a person? They don't have a soul. You just said that, <laughs> you just said that if, People didn't have souls. It would ju it wouldn't justify murdering them. But that's the difference. We actually do, and they don't. How stupid are just, you? But you just agreed that the soul does not matter. It has no bearing on whether or not you kill them. I I literally said if if we didn't have a soul, which we do, but if we didn't, I'm not saying we'd go around murdering everybody. Great. So then it doesn't matter if we have a whole soul or not. So it doesn't matter if the deer don't have a soul. It still doesn't justify killing them. So it what is the other, what is the trait? I can get, I so can what eat is, from it. What I can the, eat from it. What is the actual plane, uh, trait that justifies killing deer? The fact I can shoot it and eat it. You can do the same with a baby. But I'm not going to do that because that's, I mean, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. So, oh, really? I bet so you, I bet you your, think abortion. So what is right the moral too? difference? So what is the moral difference between a baby and a deer? Uh, the baby has a soul. You keep saying the soul, right? You keep hinging on this nonsense thing. First of all, you have no evidence of a soul, and you just <laughs> admitted before that if humans didn't have a soul, you would not kill them. So you're wrong. Can you, can you do me a favor, real quick? Whenever, like a hundred years from now, whenever you die and you're burning in hell, can you please remember? I'd rather burn in hell than be stuck in your La La Land forever, worshiping your little magic sky daddy and being a animal abuser. I'm sorry, but there's no justification for killing animals. I'm sorry, but there's no justification. I... What do you got? Um, so I'm definitely not as like antagonistic as the other guests you've had. Um, but I do think that Personally, I think there's a lot of flaws in like the logic of veganism. Um, Wait, I, I was a vegetarian like in college for a few years. I think that my problem with the logic is that it hinges on this idea of harm. And okay, I, great, great, great. So, what what is your argument against veganism? Yeah, I was getting to it. So it so a lot of so when you're talking, it hinges on the idea of harm. Right. So that to me is not the concept. Why do you keep doing that? <laughs> um, that to me is not, is not a solid framework. So first of all, that's incorrect. I don't just base my moral framework on harm. There's many different factors that I count in my moral framework when it comes to veganism. Are they sentient? Are they conscious? Right. Do they have any, do they have value? What, what how much value do they have as a being? That's what, those are other factors I consider, not just- How are you quantifying that Because though? it's also based on their amount of sentience or consciousness. We can Why is that, that the metric though? Why does that determine the because importance if of a rock? Of because a rock is not sentient. So there's no harm you can place onto it. You can't kill a rock, but you can to, you can to a person, you can to a cow, you can to a pig or a chicken. I think that I feel like that's weak in terms of like how okay, to frame great. something. So, so let me ask you this then. Is it okay to take a dog and slit its neck open? 
Um, what do you mean by okay? Is it morally justified? Should you take a dog and slit its neck open? Again, this is my, this is what I'm critiquing. Morally justified. What do you yeah. mean morally in justified? Your, in your more, in more, in your more system, is it okay to take a dog and slit its neck open? I don't, I don't think it's, it, it's, it's morally good or bad. You don't think it's bad to, to abuse a dog and slit its neck open? That's okay to you? That's morally acceptable to you? I, I, I don't think that actions between species can be quantified that way. W why not? Because, like, one fundamental part of of nature is is exchange sir what what are you fucking talking okay. about my, i'm taking not, a dog sorry, and my i'm, I'm sitting its neck open it's bleeding to death how do you think that's good when the dog's screaming in pain they're crying how would you how do you think it's okay to do that to a dog you I, i'm not saying okay or not okay i personally wouldn't do that why not because I think, because I, I have a respect um, for like not, um, for not like taking more than I need or not like, you know, doing something unnecessarily. It's not necessary for me to do that. Okay. Is it necessary to, is it necessary for you to eat animals? Yeah, arguably. Or, really? Why, again, is, it, why is it animals. necessary? I, okay. Why is I think it a necessary? better way, hold a better on, way to have hold a on, conversation. Hold on. Hold on. Why is it necessary to eat animals? I think a better way to frame it is why is it necessary to eat other species? Yeah, sure. Why is it necessary to eat other animals? Species, no, species not animals, species. Okay, so it's sir, necessary to eat what other is species. Your, what, what, why is it necessary to eat a cow or a pig or a chicken? It's necessary because we need calories to survive you can and get calories, calories but you can get calories from plant-based foods which don't entail suffering and death and cruelty do you agree but what about plants plants are living things but they're not sentient again why does sentience matter because if i if i take this cardboard box and i smack it right it's not do you think i'm harming the box in any in any yes. meaningful way do you think that the box feels pain Again, a lot of things feel pain. You, you think this box feels pain? No, the box doesn't feel pain, but I'm saying like... Okay, great. So, so do, do you think this box cares if I harm it? Mm, no. Okay, great. So harming the box doesn't matter because it's not harming anybody. It's not harming any being or any no, but, being. But again, harm so when it is comes, a, when it comes is a concept... concept Plants are like a carbon concepts. box. Hold on, hold on. Plants, although they're living, they're not sentient or conscious in any way. Hence, killing them has no, there's no care, there's no relevance there. But more importantly, vegans kill less plants and we kill less animals. So what do you think is more ethical here? Killing more animals, killing more uh, sentient beings, causing more suffering or causing less suffering? You're not listening to me. What I'm saying is that that is our species construct and our species does not get to dictate reality i never said we did sir but what i'm saying is also, we can I'm, dictate I'm our choices them. Sir, sir, don't listen, call me listen, sir listen 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 we can dictate our choices I are can you gonna choose, keep calling me sir or not i can choose i can choose to call cause less suffering do you do you agree are you going to continue calling me sir or not okay what are your pronouns i'm sorry they them jesus christ what are your pronouns? They, them. What? They, them. They, them. Okay. Are you um, okay with with causing more suffering or causing less suffering? You keep asking the same question. You're not actually engaging with what I'm saying. I'm okay. telling you. Listen, do, to, do, listen do you, to what I'm do saying. You, do you agree that listen animals feel pain? Saying. Hold on. Let, let me try to do this, please, sir. Please. Do you think that animals feel pain when you hit them? Or Many them? species feel pain. Correct. Do you think cows feel pain, sir? Yes or no? With the you cows. You keep saying sir. Why do you keep calling me sir? 
Yes, I'm sorry. Cows it's a feel- habit. It's a habit. I'm sorry. So, so cows. Do you think? So do you pain? think cows okay. feel pain? Let me, just, let me talk about pain for a second. Pain is a response from neurons, right? So yes, cows feel um, feel pain. Great. Thank you. Fantastic. Do you think? Do you think a tomato feels pain? Uh, not in no like okay great no okay great so a cow feels pain but a tomato doesn't do you think it's more ethical to kill and eat the cow which causes them to feel pain or to eat the tomato which doesn't cause pain what's more ethical to you again i don't think I don't, you keep asking these questions and I, you're, you're not actually engaging with what I'm saying. I don't think, I think it's equally morally equal. Okay. Do you think if I slit a person's throat open, is that the same as eating a tomato? In what way? Okay. In terms of pain. Oh, pain. Yeah, no, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not the same. Okay. So you agree that it's, it's wrong to slit the person's neck open, but it's, it's better to kill the tomato, right? That's not why I think slitting a person's neck is wrong. Why I is think, slitting a person's I neck think wrong? Slitting, I think hurting another member of our species is wrong because we should care about our species. I agree. But how about the other species? Why shouldn't we care about cows who are just so as I think we can, who again, are this is what I was trying to get to. And don't we have can, to die. We can care about them. So why do you eat them and kill them and cause no, them? No, no, I said, listen, death? let me finish what I'm saying. We can care about them, but we are, our species is my, is my biggest importance. Okay. So we can, I, again, I, I, I agree, agree with you. I, I agree with the, I agree that I agree that humans are more valuable than a cow. But what I'm saying is this, it is not necessary to kill the cow. It is not necessary to harm the cow. And hence we shouldn't do it because we don't have to do it. Do you agree? No, I don't agree. And let me tell you why. Why not? I, so what is, so name the trait. So name the trait of the cow that justifies killing and abusing the cow. the the thing that justifies it is that we do not owe other species care yes i think we shouldn't be cruel and like so overly... name the trait so name the trait that justifies killing the cow what's that the trait? what's the difference different species what, is the, than what us? is the moral difference between a cow and a person that, that just... they're a different species okay great so the only justification for slitting the, the the neck of a cow open and killing it is that there are different species than us. Is this your point? Yes. Okay. Okay, great. What if there is a species of human who were just like us in every way, except the fact that they had green skin, would it be okay to slit the person's throat with the green skin? And you're just doing hypothetical, correct? Yeah. Um, I think it depends on the relationship. Like, again, I don't think we should, like, it's, it's the same thing. Wow. Where, like, so so species... you're, you're willing to kill somebody because they have green skin. This sounds insane. I think the, I think your example is insane, but what I, what I'm trying to get at is that life on earth. I, I can't, I can't do that. I, I can't argue with somebody who, who thinks it's okay to kill somebody because of their color of their skin. Hey, what do you got? Hey, how's it going? <clears throat> Can you hear me clearly or do I need to adjust my audio? What is your argument? Um, for what to justify eating an animal is? Yeah, what justifies killing and abusing animals? They don't have to get, be killed. Um, well, is the question killing an animal or is it Abusing an animal because killing an animal both, for survival both, is sir, very both, than abusing both. An we abuse and we kill animals. We abuse well, them. I don't because agree with abuse for no reason. Oh no no no! They are killing them for a reason. 
there's a reason to kill an animal. But it's not a justified reason. It's not a justified reason, sir. What Maybe justifies for you, killing, but sir? generally speaking, there is a justifiable reason. Okay, what, what, just, what justifies killing cows and, and pigs and chickens? Survival. Okay, but I can survive on plant-based foods. Do you agree? You can, but not optimally. Okay, great. No, I, I can optimally survive on plant-based foods. Vegans are no, way you can't because you need supplementation for veganism. So what? Why can't I eat? Why can't I survive as a vegan? Because you need supplementation. No, so first of all, I don't need supplementation. But more importantly, guess what? You sure about that? Most animal products are being supplemented by things like B twelve injections. So you're already being supplemented. That's a lie. Directly. Yes, it's not. It's not a no. It's not a lie. There's most no reason. Cows, listen. There's no cows, reason to inject sir, a cow sir, listen, with B twelve. Listen. 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 If it listen, produces listen, it on its own. Listen. Listen. It is a fact that most cows that you eat in factories are injected with B12 supplementation. That is a fact. So okay, you are, like you are already supplementing. And by the way, don't act like meat eaters don't have to supplement. I have parents that are they don't. and they supplement a ton. They don't. The idea, don't the idea that because you have to take a supplement, therefore we should abuse and kill animals is ridiculous. When we can be optimally healthy as vegans with this <laughs> a simple supplement and eating plant-based options, you can be perfectly optimally healthy as a vegan. Do you agree? No, I don't agree. Okay, great. So why can't we be optimally healthy as a vegan? What's the nutrient that we're missing? Okay, so first of all, the protein complexity of plants themselves is not the same as animal protein. Protein is far more bioavailable because it's already a living thing that does not have to continuously be processed again. Plant okay. proteins are so, not the same as animal proteins. I, I, agree that, I agree they're not the same, sir, but we can still get plenty of protein as vegans. We can still get plenty of amino acids as vegans. And uh, by the way, there is very similar in terms of bioavailability. There, there's no nope, much, not, not much very similar. to justify killing it's, animals. You're, you're, you're saying right now, oh, because there's a 1% difference of bioavailability, therefore that, that justifies- No, it's not 1%. Animal. It's not 1% at all. So actually. what percent is that? It depends on what it is, what plant protein you're, you're substituting. What percent? So what like, percent? What if percent? It's tofu, if it's tofu, there's about a 7% difference between bioavailability. Wow, 7%. And you're, you're saying a 7% yes. difference justifies killing and abusing billions of animals in factories per year? Well, you could have okay, just eaten a little bit more tofu. what that 7% you, you, you could have just eaten a little bit more tofu. You didn't have to kill the animal, sir. This is embarrassing. No, what you don't understand is that you are hyperinflating the value of life versus personal okay. value. So let's let's hash this out then. Do you think it's wrong to kill a person for food? Uh, yes, because Why? I do not agree with the value of cannibalism. Okay. Why? Okay, great. So do you? Uh, wh why is it wrong to eat somebody as food? Because it is a member of my species and I don't want to eat yeah, but the, my yeah but their protein is bio there's actually more there's yeah, actually but their, more but their protein is detriment but to the body protein, sir hold on humans. hold on hold on hold on they're pro they they have lots of protein and it's very bioavailable no there's there are different reasons for why I wouldn't eat another human because if why? you eat what other reason? humans you can actually gain a parasite that can slowly kill you over time the same what with the, human? the same with animal products. The same with pig nope. products and cow that's, products. That's not the same. You can, you can still, yeah, of course you, you can get still, amoeba. You can still get, get parasites, things. sir. You can still get parasites by eating animal products. Did you know that? Do you know what laughing sickness is, sir? Do you know that you can get parasite infections by eating animal products? Do you agree? Yes, but those are easily taken care of. Okay, you know you can get no, a no, brain no, parasite through people eating. People have a human. died, sir. People have died from from getting parasitical infections by eating animal products, eating raw meat, things like that, or undercooked meat. It's very, very common. Now, I eat undercooked meat all the time. Oh, great! So you're you're putting yourself at Do risk have a of parasite? getting a parasitical infection. Did you know that? You think you can't contract stuff from vegetation? Name me you one there's disease, nothing poisonous or one dangerous disease that a carrot venomous. has or a tomato has. Okay, tomatoes are related to nightshades. People can be allergic to nightshade. No one is allergic okay, to great. meat. Well, the good, the good thing Not about a single that person in the planet is allergic sir, to meat. Sir, sir, listen. The good thing about that is that there's 50,000 different plant-based foods that you can choose. You can choose from. But more importantly, um, most of the E. coli that you guys should talk about in the comments that comes from animal products in farms. E. coli exists in no, 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 no. you. Listen, 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 listen. 
the animals shit on these vegetables, <laughs> and then we eat the vegetables with the shit on it, and we get diseases. That's you think you don't have E. coli so in you right that's now? That's where diseases come from. Diseases come you from think animals. You don't have E. coli in you. Farms. But more, but more importantly, sir, what you're doing here is you're saying, oh look, what justifies killing the animals is is because oh we might get diseases from them. Well, the same can be said for literally any kind of food, any kind of that's food. That's not what I said. Food. Okay, great. So then what is the justification for killing the animals? I already told you survival, optimal survival. Okay. But, but you just, do you agree that I can be, so again, look, let's go back to square one. Now, why can't I be optimally healthy as a vegan? I explained that when it comes to veganism, I was a vegan. I was two years straight vegan. Sir, raw I vegan, don't care, sir. Raw till four, why can't I be stuff? optimally healthy as a vegan? Because you cannot sustain it long term outside of societal regulation and supplementation. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Show me. You have no evidence. Okay, so Where's if your society source? collapses right no, 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 now, no, no, where no, are you going to get your B12 sir, vitamins? Sir, stop, 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 stop. That is garbage. Where are you going to get your selenium? Where's your source for that? Huh? My source? source? My source for what? For uh, surviving? That vegans heart. can't. They they can't survive long term. Um, it's not that they can't survive long term. They can. They can't survive optimally. Why not? Where's your source for that? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do you a solid. I'm turning on my computer right now. I'll find you that source. And also, oh, if so you, you ever so had you the argument have a that, source. so you're coming no, out to my life with no sources, when the position oh, of the Academy of Dietetics Give me one and quick minute. Hold on, will... hold on. The position of the Academy of Dietetics and Nutrition, their statement is that vegans can be perfectly healthy as on a vegan diet if it's well planned. If you're getting all the nutrients your body needs. And you can, as a vegan, you can be optimally healthy and be perfectly healthy for all stages of life. This is what nutritionists and doctors ha say. This is a big study that demonstrates vegans can be very healthy. Another study is the Epic, two, uh, Epic study, the, uh, um, the Adventist Health 2 study, which demonstrates vegans have lower rates of heart disease, lower rates of cancers. So again, you're incorrect in multiple ways. Vegans can be healthy perfectly uh, in, in, for the long term and the short term. There is no need to eat animal products. There is no reason or need to eat animal products at all. You can be optimally healthy as a vegan, period. Okay, so you're done talking? Yeah, what's your argument? Okay, so if you're going based off of those studies, even the very own, your very own vegan Dr. Berg actually had a YouTube video explaining that meat eaters and vegan he's not a vegan so dr same. berg dr berg is not a vegan and so first of all and more importantly i don't care about youtube videos sir you're you're fucking you're gonna cite a youtube a video doctor. are you fucking serious it's a doctor it's i don't get this sir. he's not a, he's not a nutritionist so, then, he's a so if doctor. you if you just no 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 no, no, no something stop stop stop, stop stop dr berg is a chiropractor he has no knowledge in nutrition he has no understanding of of medicine at all and more importantly this is an appeal to authority. I don't take a look at what doctors say. I take a look at what the actual consensus is among thousands of doctors that are backed by the data. That's a study. That's research. Not when you just cite a YouTube video. Okay. It seems as if you don't actually have a source for what you're saying. It seems like everything you said today is garbage. Okay. So. You have a very nasty habit of muting me. When now you're gone because you haven't given a source. All you could have done is give me a source and we would have ended the debate, but you didn't because there is no such source. It doesn't exist. Hey, what do you got? You guys are all saying he won, even though he brought no sources because you just don't like what I'm saying. He didn't bring a source. He didn't verify anything he said, but I did. I actually gave you multiple sources. But guess what? You guys just don't like me. That's why you think he won because you don't like the vegan. Nobody does because you don't understand what you're doing to the animals. You're yeah. harming them. You're abusing them. You're killing them for no reason. Yeah, okay, hey, what, what do you got? So um, people have been eating animals. How old are you? For how, old are you? How, old are you? how old are you? I'm 21. Okay. What's your argument? People have been eating animals forever and it's how we evolved. We also ate people. We also, um, you know, ex aid people in our past. Yeah, Does that mean we should do it today? Yeah. 
Wow. So you think cannibalism is good and you think SA is good? No, not SA, but cannibalism, yeah. So you think it's okay to murder? Well, yeah, as long as you're going to eat them. Wow. Well, there's a carnist for you. They think murder's good because they have no fucking argument. Oh, you guys are saying W in the comments. You, you proved my last point that you just say W because you don't like me. He literally just, he literally said murder's good and you all said W because you don't have an argument. All right, what do you got? So I'm a dietitian and I agree with a lot of what you're saying, but I think the problem with your debate is that you're justifying your choice not to eat animals is the right choice and that's the okay, problem. Okay, great. So let's so let's do this. Let's hash this out, buddy. Do you think it's okay to slit a, a, a dog's neck open? Um, I have 3 dogs, right? So, so I would yes not No, just say yes or no. no. Let, do you think it's okay? Do you think it's more Don't tell me. Sir, stop, Let me stop, answer the stop, question. Stop. stop. Do you think it's justified to slit the neck of a dog open? Yes or no? This is not a hard question. This is not a gotcha. Yes, I do. The, I answer your question. I wouldn't do it. Oh but my God. No, 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 no. Do you think it's justified to slit the neck open of a dog? A dog is an animal. So if I was raised in a culture that eats dogs, no, it's no, justified. No, no, sir, sir, we're talking about yes. you. We're, we're talking yes, about I, you, sir. I, Sir, just listen, be, listen, sir, listen. Do you not understand listen, English? Listen, yes, listen, it is. Just, I listen. would not do it. You listen. Oh my God. Do you think it's good or bad to harm an animal? This is, I can't believe we have to debate this. It's obviously wrong to harm a dog. It's obviously wrong to harm a dog. Can you answer the question now? Is it wrong to kill a dog? Slit their neck open. Yes or no? Just say yes or no. Sir, come on, please unmute yourself, sir, please. Uh, I'm sorry, I said no, I don't think it's wrong. Why just not? Why is it, what justifies killing the dog and slitting its neck open? I, I look at what you see in our environment. All animals, oh. don't interrupt me, don't interrupt me. All animals eat other animals. It's part of the cycle. It's okay, how sir. do it. It's also part of the cycle for them to SA each other. Should we SA each other because the animals do it? Should we sniff each other's asses because the animals do it? Should we eat our shit because the animals do it? Um, don't conflate issues. We're talking about eating animals. We're not okay, talking wait. about abuse. Sir, sir, listen, listen, listen. The animals have to eat other animals to survive. Guess what? Who guess who doesn't though? We don't. We don't have to eat the animals to survive. Do you agree? Uh, you, it is part of our food source. It doesn't matter. I'm saying it's yes. unethical that it is. Do you agree? That's that your we, ethic. That's your ethics. You're correct, prescribing sir, your that's ethics why, to another That's people. why we're debating, sir. This is why we're debating about your ethics. No, your, your ethics yes, are your yes, ethics. Yes, we're debating Those your ethics. Listen for a second. Listen. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's okay? to slit the neck of a dog open. Yes, I no. do. I you answered, said, yes. Okay, okay, you said yes, it's okay, right? Yeah. So yeah. What, what to you justifies killing the dog? I think when an animal is used as substance to eat, and that's the purpose, that okay. it is acceptable. Okay, what if we bred people into existence to eat them? Would that be acceptable to you? You know, believe it or not, if that's what was done and that's what we were used to, it would be normal too. So you think it's okay to breed people into existence and eat them? Um, I, I think that you're bringing a concept. If that was part of our societal norm and there no, was a way- Sir, we're talking them, about you and your ethics, sir. Do you think it's okay for me to right now breed a person into existence and then eat their bodies? No, not for what we do, no. Okay, no. why not? Why is it wrong to kill people for food? We, the, if, first of all, we can't consume humans. You yes, we can. We can no, consume you're... people. Our ancestors did it. Our ancestors did it, sir. 
We can right, eat and- people. It's possible. Now, yeah. what justifies killing and abusing animals? It is part of our food source. It's, it, it, but it doesn't wanna, have to be. Do you and it, yes, it does have to be. Why, because does it have to be? Why do we have to eat animals? You do what you when you talk about being a vegan. In order for you to be oh, a vegan, sir, can you answer a question directly, please? For the once, it, for one time in your is, life, it, what, it is, why do we have to eat? Why do we have to eat animals? It is extremely hard for a vegan to maintain proper no, nutrition. It is, it is too. Right. No, it is not, sir. Yes, it is. Where's your data? Where's your source on that? You have to listen. No, 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 you, no, no. Where's your source on this? Do you know what makes this? it hard? Stop. Do you, do you know what? I'm so tired of people coming up here and saying this stuff without any sources or any data. I can be perfectly healthy as a vegan. Sure. Should you plan your diet? Yes, everybody should plan their diets. I can get plenty of nutrition though as a vegan. I can sustain as a vegan for as long as I want to. There are vegans that are hundreds of a hundred years old. The idea that it doesn't sustain is ridiculous. I'm asking you for the last time, what is your source that says vegans can't live? Please, when we know that I, the position of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics is that you can live on a vegan diet for as long as you want to. Now, please give your source. Hurry up. It's hard. If you would give listen. Your source. Give your source. Give your Can source. Can you let me speak? No, give your source. Um, I am a dietitian. I don't care. Where's your source? Where's your source? Is, you can go to the academy and you can look at the vegan study yourself. What what is you have what's, the study? what's the study? Will you sir? Let what's me, the study? Can, what is the study? Do you want someone to what speak? Is or you just, what is the study, useless. sir? What is Discon- the study? Disconnect, disconnect is the me. Study? You're useless. You're like a Trump supporter. You won't listen to the other person. You, you keep interrupting. You're not giving a source. You're not giving a source. I, you keep interrupting. Will you what's let me source? speak? Just tell us your source. Oh my God. Disconnect me. You are a loser. Why anyone would sit here and debate <laughs> oh, with sorry. you? Just Debate is a two-way conversation, it's, Donald you're Trump. You're not giving a source, sir. You're not giving Goodbye. a source. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're not giving a source. Sir, I'm not a puppet. You're not going to stick your hand up my ass and tell me how to speak. Okay, okay, great. So then give me a source. You made a claim. You made a very big claim, sir. Where's your source? Are you going to run away like a coward? You being a vegan is acceptable and you can't. No, no, listen, sir. It doesn't matter if acceptable or not. I'm asking you, no. what justifies harming and abusing animals in cages across the world? What justifies that, sir? And if your only response is, well, it's hard, that's nonsense. First of no. all, second of all, it's, it's, un- it's, it's baseless it's, nonsense. The, there is not your ethics. You're trying to imply your ethics to everyone. I'm a gay man. Listen to me. I'm a gay man. And this is what Christians do. What I'm saying is this. If you agree that harming animals is wrong, then you should be vegan. It's plain as simple as that. I'm asked. That's why I'm asking you. If you, if you think it's okay to harm a dog, you said, yes, for some reason, you think it's okay to abuse a dog. What justifies abusing animals and killing them when we don't have to? Where is your source that vegans can't be healthy when we fucking can? I'm healthier than I've ever fucking been in my life as a vegan. And the idea that I can't be healthy is ridiculous on multiple levels. And I don't give a shit if you're a dietitian. I want a scientific source. If not, you can go away. Hurry up and give me a source. This is your last chance to give me a source or your ass is gonna be kicked out. Because you can't debate somebody when you have no data to back yourself up. It's not possible. All right, well, have a good day, sir. Enjoy abusing animals for no reason. And calling yourself- Yeah, man, you said, can I justify eating animals? Yeah, what justifies eating and killing animals in factories? Survive. Well, uh, all right. You you had to throw in the factories there. You had to throw in the factories there. Um, what is the difference if you catch an animal out in the wild and you eat it? You kill it. it. You're, you're still killing it when you could have eaten a plant based option instead. And not okay, it. now that plant based option can take how long to grow? 
How long to fruit? It doesn't matter, sir. And how some, long would you, you can, starve in between? You can garden, them. sir. You can garden. Uh, no. And, and, and how long? Food. How long? How long would it take so, it to fruit? We, we, from so seed, live, from seed to oh fruit. Oh my God, sir! Listen, we live in America. We live in a, in a civilized society where we have options. We can go to the store and buy a plant-based food. Do you agree? So plant plants are life too. So you justify yeah, but, but ending plants, a plant's but, life. But plants are not sentient. Do you agree? uh yeah so i mean like what are we are we going to just train animals not to eat humans in are we just going to say hey hyenas don't eat humans it's bad what i'm saying what, say, what, what i'm saying is this there is no justification for killing and abusing cows pigs and chickens in factories or any animal in, in the world there's no reason to kill them so why are you not vegan well that is because you can i guess i am sinful in nature if that will be it, I would no, go no, no, off sir, of survival. Sir, what, what, ju it. what justifies harming and killing animals at all? What justifies doing that? Surviving. It's a survival yeah, method. But but I can survive on plant based foods instead. All right. Let me ask you this: food. If if you were a pure mammal, if we didn't have society, right? If we didn't have um farms, massive farms that were growing food for us you didn't have a garden right say 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 your garden just your garden just started to sprout you're gonna have at least what maybe six months before you start seeing some type of oh produce. my gosh sir we have stores i can go to the store all right so if the stores were gone if all of those were gone and oh and, and, the, and it was nothing oh and if so, it was nothing so would it still we're, we're, be immoral we are, no, we are no longer tarzan we're no longer cavemen we have stores now we have grocery stores if we got the news we got groceries right now so what justifies killing animals today survival and protein okay but I nothing can, nothing I nothing, can nothing is justified okay, nothing is I, nothing I is justified it's what your body needs survive. hold on i, I got can, you hold on i I can survive and get protein from from plant-based options easily so are we the only mammal sources that we are going to say hey it's 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 wrong for us to eat another mammal that's yeah, what you're saying we, right because, now because we have choices and with choices comes responsibility okay but if all but if if, if if city life was gone if the store shut down this is like chicago or oh something gosh, like sir. that uh, oh my god you sir. live yes, out in the if woods I was, if i was trying to survive for my life yes i would eat animals but guess what i'm not a hunter i'm not a uh, i'm not a tarzan anymore okay well you asked we what justifies it now we what if i don't what if i don't sir, believe in sir, going to walmart sir. we're in 2023 we have options and the what best if i want to live like tarzan option. hold on hold on the more ethical option is to not eat the animals to me. So what justifies killing and abusing animals today? Not a thousand years ago, but today. Okay, maybe I want to be like He-Man. Maybe I want to go out and live out in the woods. What justifies that? Freedom. Freedom. Freedom so, of this, the social norm. Okay, how about if I wanted to kill people and say that's freedom? Freedom. I, does that justify murder? I mean, are you eating them? Oh my God! You think that murder is okay if you eat the person? I mean, it depends on how bad you're starving, I guess. Okay, what if we're not starving at all? I, if we're not starving at all, I don't know who raised you to eat humans. I mean, I'm not eating humans. Oh, if I had a choice, oh, I'd have so a cheeseburger. I'm not okay, going to so, kill a so, human and so eat a human. Sir, what's wrong with eating people? They have protein. Like, if it's a survival thing, if it's survival. Well, this isn't survival, sir. We have stores and phones. You're on a fucking phone. This is not Tarzan. This isn't Lion <laughs> what about, King. What about what? Let's, you're let's saying, you're saying, to, I, let's get back to reality, sir. Okay, what but reality, I could live like Tarzan if I wanted to in reality. What justifies killing and abusing animals? Survival. But we can survive on plants. We could, but okay, great. surviving. So what, what all right, survival in the winter. Survival in the winter during the frost, where it's hard to get a harvest. Sir, we have st stores. <laughs> I can go to the store in winter. I live in a rural area where there aren't stores. How far away from you from a store? Oh man, I'm far. I'm very far. Does that change the subject? How far? Does that does that change? Like, would would How that far would that away change from you from a store? I, I I am fifty miles from a store. 
Oh, he has to drive 40 minutes to get to the store. But oh, if I go out to the backyard, I can hunt, I can hunt some deer. Animals. I have to drive 40 minutes. Oh, no. So you're telling me a 40-minute drive is stopping you from is yes. stopping you from actually yes. being vegan? A 40-minute yes. drive? Yes. So, you, so you'd rather kill, abuse, and, and, and uh, murder million, billions of animals in cages across the world because you have to take a 40-minute drive? Look, if I was out in the wild, those animals would kill and abuse me. Cows don't kill people. Cows don't harm you. They're just fucking Guns cows. don't kill people either. But more, but, more, but more importantly, it doesn't justify killing them. It doesn't justify killing somebody because they might harm you someday. That doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. You're killing them for no good reason. So, all right. I understand you're, you're, you're in your thing. You're like, hey, this is the 21st century. But I, I actually answered your question. Survival. Now, you have an excuse. We you have, have an excuse survive. right now. We don't have to survive on animal products, sir. We can survive on plant-based products, and so can you. I, I, I can't. Now, is it a choice? Yes, you can. Yeah, but what, is it yes, wrong? You, no. What do you, no, it's not you, wrong. You, where, do you, where do you get your food? I, I grow some of my food, and then, I, yeah, I do go to the store and get my food. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm going to go to my store and get my chicken. Yeah. So... Oh. So you can go to the store and buy food. Yeah, oh, but guess what, dude? Okay, you also great, can grow great, it, and you're so also going to have, dude. Yeah. You would have to. Okay, so, so say what, in the winter. So in the winter, even even if you animals. could live so now, off the ground. So now there's no justification. Now you have no justification. You have no justification. You you're making excuses. You can food. grow your own food. If everything went to shit in a hand basket, and we had to grow our own food at some point in time, unless you're someone who. But we're, this isn't I Am Legend. This isn't Zombieland. <laughs> Guys, we have stores. It's a very simple decision to go to the store and buy plant-based foods instead of animal-based foods. It's harming the planet. It's harming the animals for no good reason. All because you like to taste a chicken. We are confused. We need to go back on track and realize that we are causing harm to the animals. It is not justified. All right, um, next guest. Thank you guys. Keep tapping. Keep type. Uh, keep liking the stream. Thank you guys. Let's get to 100K. Hey, what do you got? Okay, so I understand that like you want to be vegan, and that you can survive like no, that. No, we're not. We're not doing this. What justifies killing animals? So see, you already cut me off, and I was simply speaking. Stay on track, because you're not staying on track, right? No, what I am staying on track what, because I'm getting to a point. My point is, is that as a vegan, are you What justifies killing animals? What, ju what justifies killing animals? Are you using supplements? Do you no. take supplements to get no, all your no. vitamins? I'm actually not taking supplements. I get all my nutrients from the food I eat. You don't use something like Bloom or anything no, that comes in a pack no, that has no, extra nutrients but, but it, in it. No, but, but if I did, who cares? Why is supplementation bad? Because you have to have certain things from animals to survive. And give when an you example, have give an example, give an example, give an example, stuff that is for vegans, give an then example. that is you give supplementing the nutrients yeah. that you would be getting from animals. Great. You're going to so heal me because example. I'm making a so point. Give an example, so give an example, ma'am, stop, animals for stop. you, me, stop and everybody else. See, stop I'm not going to stop. See, I'm acting like you. What is the nutrient that I can't get from, that I can't get from plants that you can only get from animals? And by the way, the animals that you eat and slaughter already are injected with supplementation. So stop pretending as if you don't supplement with anything. Most people supplement, period. That doesn't justify killing animals. So go ahead and give us this, the nutrient that we cannot get from animals, or from plants that we can get from animals. Save the, if you save the nutrient or go away. You can go Google it yourself. Everything that no, you no 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 what is the has what supplements is in it. I never said what I wasn't supplementing. I never said I wasn't nutrient? supplementing, and I'm not gonna. I don't have all of the man, 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 man. Listen, listen, man. Stay, stay on track. Like stay on track. Stay on track, man. Because that's your favorite. Okay, I I can't debate someone like this, guys. There are no nutrients that we can't get from from um, plants. Iron comes from green leafy vegetables, beans, grains, protein. Plenty of protein in things like beans, greens. Uh, fruits, vegetables, all have protein in them. Iron, fish oil, I can get omega storm from avocados, nuts, seeds, beans, I can get all those from there. There are no nutrients that I cannot get as a vegan. I can get everything I need as a vegan. 
And if you are, if you have to supplement, there's something wrong with supplementa supplementation. Supplementing is, is not bad. It's perfectly okay to supplement. I don't typically supplement at all, but I'm perfectly healthy and fine. You can get all the nutrients you need as a vegan. The idea that there are some nutrients that you can't get is ridiculous and wrong. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, what's your argument? Uh, okay, first of all, I'm not anti-vegetarian, I'm not anti-vegan, I just love debating, that's why I came. Okay, so let's start. Do you think eating mushrooms is, is okay? Yeah, mushrooms are okay. Okay, but did you study the new, did you show the new studies that they say that mushrooms are eating actually ants, they are eating uh, worms, they are carnivores. Mushrooms, mushrooms are eating worms? Yes. Try to search about the uh, plevrotus mushroom. Okay. So, first of all, mushrooms don't eat worms. That's ridiculous. But more importantly, really? mushrooms are fungi, which means that they're just, they're not animals. So, that's why it's justified to eat them. Now, uh, what, you, what, so what to you justifies killing and abusing animals? I, I'm not justifying it. I'm just saying that you are also okay, so, something so, that... so, you have no justification for killing animals? Uh, no, that's literally cruel. I mean, come okay. on, dude. Have a good day. Go vegan, sir. You should be vegan. Guys, it's not about living or not. It's about sentience. My left ash cheek is living, right? Like, just because it's living doesn't mean that we can't kill it. I'm talking about sentience, feeling, harm, things like that. That is what we care about. We care about the animals who are sentient. They're feeling. They're aware. They're conscious. That is different than a mushroom by far. See, that's why this argument fails. Because animals like pig, chickens, and cows are extremely intelligent, extremely aware. And they don't want to die and they don't have to die. Vegans aren't saving the world. Well, neither are you, buddy. You're doing nothing. You're not even helping anybody. You're actually killing things. You're actually, you're actually making it worse for the environment and the animals. So what are you doing? What's your point? I'm not a vegan because I think I can save the world. I'm a vegan because I think I can help other animals. That's all. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, what do you got? Well, the basis of the question you're asking, you're asking if we have a choice. Some people have a choice to eat meat. Some people have the choice to eat meat. Great. So what is the more no. ethical choice to you? What is the more ethical no, choice? Well, see, it, ethical is a uh, concern to somebody, uh, to that individual. Right. So what do you, what is, what do you think is more eth ethical? ethical? Ethical to me is either plant or animal. Okay, great. So what justifies killing the animal to you? Because it's my choice. Okay. Well, just because something's you, you want to do something, you want to choose something, doesn't make it good, right? I can choose to murder. It doesn't make it good, right? Let's see. You, see, what are you doing is this. Uh, well, let me get to you. I'll ask you a question. Sir, can, but you, can, I, you, can you adjust what I just said? I know it's your choice to harm. But I'm asking you, is it the ethical choice? Does it, is it justified to harm and abuse animals? Well, if you're saying harm and abuse, no, it's not justified to harm and abuse anything. It's okay, not great. justified. To, then, like, then can then I go? It's not. It's, it's not just. A, it's they not just. just a, no, no, no. It's not justified to harm a, a tree, uh, a plant. Okay, great. Well, it is. Which is important. Plant because Which is plants important. are not sent. Hold on. No, no. Plants are not sentient. Plants. We have to eat something to survive. We have and plants are the most ethical okay. option, right? So can I, can I ask more, the, what, Hold on. Can, hold no. on. Hold on. Hold on. What is more ethical to you, killing a cow or killing a tomato? What is more ethical to you? All right. If I kill a cow, it's, it's, not, ethical, it's, not, eth it's not ethical to me because what I want to use it okay. for. Uh, yeah. I have the same. I have so the same. You, so I have the are same you vegetarian? Decision. Are you vegetarian? No. No. I, I, I eat both plants and animals. So what no, justifies have to, killing animals? You just said no, it's wrong. What justifies no, killing no, animals? I, no, no. See, if you kill an animal for no reason, that's not justification. For no reason is justification is no justification. Right. But if it's for a reason, then if you have a reason, there's no problem. What's the reason to kill cows? Do you eat? Do you eat? Sir, what is the reason that justifies killing cows? Because I want to eat it because I, I like meat. 
Uh, I know you like meat, sir, but that doesn't justify killing it, right? Because you need something else. So, so, so what, what's just, what's hold just... on, hold on, hold on. You can eat something else. You can eat a plant-based option instead. Do you agree? But, but yes, I agree. But you, you can eat a, okay, you can eat animal, so they, so you can eat animal based also. Hold on. So then, then you have no justification for killing the cow. But, no. So what, what's your just, what's your justification for eating plant? They're not sentient. Uh, do you, give me the data on that. They don't have brains yeah. or never No, no, give, no, give me the data. Give me the data that plants are not it, sentient. It's a common known fact that you think. No, no, think... give me give me the data and say me where plants are not sentient. Question. Sure. My, my question multiple. is this. Here's multiple. My, que my question it's is this. Something, do, here's, from a, here's a WI study that says all plants um, are, uh, says that plants are not sentient. Um, here's a study called PubMed on PubMed called Are Plants Sentient? And, they, and it shows that they are not sentient. How credible they, the study they is. Might, they might develop uh, neuro, they might develop uh, lesser chemical activity, but it doesn't how, the sentience. How, how, how credible Here's another study. study. Here's another study called Debunking a Myth, Plant Consciousness. <laughs> it's in the Springer Link journals. And it, and it shows us that plants are not sentient as well. I gave you okay. three sources so far. Okay, so but how I, credible, I, I, how I, credible I, those sources. sources are? You give me three sources, you just Google it and give me three sources. How credible those sources are? I just gave you the sources. You can go look at it for yourself. All right, one question is called one, debunking a myth. Plain one question, one question I can ask. What, one question I can ask before I go. Do, do plants have fighting mechanisms? It doesn't make it sentient. No, no, does it have fighting mechanisms? Sure, but it doesn't mean why, why does it have fighting mechan mechanism? Because it has electrochemical activity in it. No, but why does the plant have fighting mechanism do, to defend themselves? To sir, defend listen, listen, right? Sir, listen, listen. Plants have fighting mechanism sir, to fight. Listen. Do you know what sentience means? Definitely. What is sentience? Humans are sentient. What is sentience? You on a higher level. Sir, what is sentience? You on a higher level as a human being, you have conscious of, of, oh of, of, of God, no. Sentience is the ability to feel. Okay? Plants don't feel pain. They don't have pain receptors. They don't have nervous systems. They don't have brains. They can't feel pain. But more importantly, vegans kill less plants. So it is more ethical to be vegan because vegans kill less plants and we kill less animals. Guys, this is not this hard. It shouldn't be this hard to recognize that you are causing animals more cruelty and more harm by not being vegan. You're causing way more harm, way more death, and way more destruction. Period. You got, it's not that hard. Hey, what do you got? I get plenty of B12 in my diet. B12 is found in tepe, tofu, nutritional yeast, fortified foods. I get plenty of B12. Hey, what do you got? Guys, please, please, please come up with an argument. Do you have friends that are meat eaters? Sure, most people, most people are meat eaters. Hey, what's your argument? Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, what's your argument? Okay, um, so can I justify eating animals? Well, yeah. I mean, as far as as far as eating animals, we have humans have teeth to eat meat and animals. But as far as me, I'm I'm currently pescatarian. Um, planning on going plant based. Can you please answer the question? What justifies killing animals? What justifies killing them or eating them? You have to kill them to eat them, ma'am. But people don't kill the animals that they eat. They're killed by someone else, so they don't see. They pay for it, though, right? You're paying for someone to die. Why? Right. So as far as the societal norms, they're not paying for someone to kill them. Is that's not what how people see it because they're not. Okay. You know, so when, when, okay, let me educate you on how supply and demand works. When you go to the store and you buy meat products, you're demanding more animals to be supplied for that meat, right? 
So you're causing more animals to, to die. Your money goes to the farm, to the, the store, the store gives it to the farmers who then kill the animals for you. Right? So like a mafia member is, is, is a mafia boss, uh, irresponsible if they pay someone to kill somebody for them? Well, like I said, people aren't, that's the supply and demand of it. But when people eat animals, that's not what they're thinking of. But right, as but far as the fact of reality, animals, right? But the fact of reality is that you are paying somebody to be killed, right? You're paying for someone to die. So what justifies killing somebody when you don't have to kill them? That's, that's not, they're not people. I know, but there's somebody, they have consciousness, awareness, right? Like dogs, mm -hmm. they have personalities. They're very Indeed. much like people in many ways. Indeed. Animals are very sentient and conscious. They don't want to die. They don't have to die. So why do you kill them? Let me say this, because again, they're not people, so they don't go by our societal human rights. I never said they're people. I never said they're people. But I said they're someone because they have awareness. Of course they have awareness. And then the laws of okay, nature great. and the laws of nature, they also have awareness, but they also have a food chain that they are a part of. The reason I don't eat meat is because of the process that these animals are killed and you know it does cause stress. So from a spiritual perspective Ma'am, ma'am, are you vegan or not? From a spiritual perspective, ma as far please as listen, please listen. Are you vegan? I already told you I already told you what my plan was as far as what I eat, if you were listening when I came in. Hey, what's your argument? What's my argument? Yeah. What's your argument that justifies killing animals? Uh, you don't eat meat, right? That's okay. No, it's fine. I don't, sir. You what don't is your meat? argument it's that fine. what is your argument that justifies killing animals? Hurry up. You don't eat meat. That's fine. That's okay. You don't eat meat. I do. What what's okay, the argument? So what justifies killing animals? That's what God put on this planet for us to eat. How do you know that? You know what? Every animal eats no, 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 every no, sir, animal sir, on sir, this we're planet. Gonna, we're not going to do this, sir. Give an actual so, fucking argument. So are you going to argue? Stop. Are you, Stop. Are you going to argue about Stop. alligators eating, eating? Oh, my gosh. Guys, it doesn't matter. I know you want to eat meat. What I'm saying is it's not ethical to do so. It's not required. And your job is to give a reason as to why it's required. It's not. Hey, what do you got? Hey, how's it going? Great. What's your argument? Um, just out of curiosity in general, are you expecting everybody planet wide to be a vegan or are you just yeah, every, everybody, everybody should be vegan because veganism is an ethical stance. It's not a diet. It's an ethical stance. Right. And I understand it from an ethical point of view, and I do agree with that. However, there are certain instances where, like, take into consideration, like, intolerances, allergies, things of that nature. How do you approach people that... Yeah, there are many vegans issues. with allergies. There's many vegans with allergies. No, and I totally understand that, but people... What's your that point? Like, what's your point? In general, tor okay, soy protein, pea proteins, things of that nature, things that they can't supplement with. How do you expect them to be vegan? There, there are 50,000 different plant-based foods, ma'am. You, you can find a way. You can be vegan. Like, anybody can be vegan because it's an ethical stance against minimizing. Uh, it's, it's for minimizing cruelty to the animals. Yeah, so but previously. Some, hold on, hold on. <laughs> if for some medical reason you have to eat animal products to survive, well, that's justified. That's justified. Exactly. What I'm about, so there's your justification. No, because that yes, means that it is because that they are required to have to have it because oh, they cannot okay, supplement but, but, properly right, with right, veganism. Right, right. But we're not talking about those people. We're talking about people who don't have to eat the animals. No, what, but I asked you if you that? believed everybody we're talking should. About the, we're talking about yes. the, man, we're talking about the vast majority of people on the planet who don't have to eat the animals. Do you agree? <sighs> Yes, but you okay, are great. stating that so, everybody so, should okay, be great. vegan. So, so, do, do, do so you everybody have to, should be. So hold, on, I, I hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you have to eat animal products? Do I have to? No, I personally do not have to. Okay, However, great. there so, are many so, people out so there then, that are required so then, so, then, so then what justifies killing animals to you? If my child, for whatever reason, has to have an animal yeah, product yeah, to survive, yeah, I'm I am going you, to kill a cow. I'm talking about you, ma'am. What justifies animal products to you?
uh, what just justifies it for me specifically. Yeah. So we, this is where you're backtracking, though, because you're making it seem in every argument that you've had so far that it is required. No, they, people listen, can so do let, this. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me explain this to you. Everybody can be vegan. You can be a vegan, and if for some medical reason you have to eat animals, you can still be vegan. Because veganism is not a diet. It's an ethical stance against cruelty. Now, when it comes to people who do that, they have to, for some medical reason, eat the animal products. That's still fine. You can still be vegan. But I'm talking about people like you who don't have to eat the animal products, right? That's what I talk about when I say veganism. I'm talking about people who don't have to eat animal products. What justifies killing those animals? So please give your argument that justifies killing animals. Let's hear it. For myself particularly, correct? Right. Ultimately, there is not a justifiable reason for me. There is not. Right. I have so, that. So, so, I have so, that so, so you agree that veganism is more ethical? For me? Yeah. Yes, it would be. Ultimately, okay. it would be. I'm not arguing right. that. Have a good day. Thank you. At least she's honest. <clears throat> At least she's honest and she knows she's being, she's wrong. She knows she's wrong. Hey, what's, hey, your, hi. what's, your, what's your argument? Um, I feel like veganism is healthier for your body and it's I don't easier. Care. I, don't, I don't care, sir. What is your argument that justifies killing animals? All that justify. Oh, you're vegan. Okay, I thought you were like a carnivore and you were like. It's not about health, it's about ethics. I agree, you can be very healthy as a vegan. But we're, t we're talking about ethics. What, what do you got? Oh, am I, am I good? What is unethical about it? Well, you're killing and abusing billions of animals, right? We kill 80 billion animals every year in factories across the world. We're causing them suffering. They're sitting in their own feces. They're sitting in their own urine for all their lives, which is short. They live in these cages forever, and then we kill them for no reason. That is wrong to me. It is wrong to cause these animals so much pain and suffering. We take their teeth out. We, we cut their nails, uh, their, their, their tails. We, we do these things so that they don't kill it. They don't eat each other in these factories out of anxiety, right? This isn't, this is a big problem to me. I think it's wrong to harm these animals. That's why I'm vegan. Like we kill 80 billion animals every year. That's insanity. That's a crazy amount of animals that needs hey, to buddy, stop. They're fucking killed humanely, bro. Oh, I really? Humanely. Okay, how do you kill somebody who doesn't have to die humanely? They're treated well and they're killed humanely. I don't know what okay, cattle so farm so, or so give the example. I walked into. How, so how do we kill them? Educate do you really do we know them? what's going on? They're not any way abused. Okay, great. They're so so, so give, so they tell us know what's going on. Sir, it's tell us like tell us the, tell us the method, sir. Time. Tell us the method which is humane. Let's hear it. You can shoot somebody in the head. That's humanely. You're instantly dead. You think shooting somebody in the head is humane? They're not. They're not suffering. That's that's a no suffer death. You think shooting somebody in the head is humane? That's how you kill an animal to butcher it. That's, that's humane. Instant death. That's it's not humane. suffering. It's humane to shoot somebody in the head. That's humane to you. It's not humane to shoot a human, but an animal that you're butchering. Oh, okay. That's the most humane so, way you can okay, do it. Great. So what justifies killing the animal, but not the person that way? Read your comments, bro. Everybody agrees with me. Uh, because they're all not blob vegan. Blob and nonsense, bro. You, well, all you do is blob stop nonsense. Stop reading the comments, sir. Everybody. Let's debate. We're debating here, sir. You, you don't, don't have debate. a fucking argument. You don't debate. You talk over debating. everybody. You're like, so, wait, 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 wait. Sir, wait, 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 wait. No. You don't what debate, justifies bro. Killing you the, talk the, over the everybody. What justifies killing the animal? You talk over everybody, bro. Because you don't have an argument. What justifies killing animals? Yeah. It, we've been doing this shit for centuries, bro. Okay. We also we also ate each other in the, in the past. We also, you know, uh, raped that's each other. Good, and did all these bad things. Does that, does that justify doing it today because our ancestors were savages? That, that's not a... 
That's not a debate for what we're talking about right no, now. No, 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 no. Answer the question, sir. This is a naturalistic fallacy because what you're saying is we did it in nature, therefore it's good. But I point out things in nature that we did that are bad. Killing an animal randomly? No, that's not good. But if you're killing it to feed okay. everybody in the world, you're not like you're okay. fucking suffering it. You're, I agree. You're, so you're, now, do, now, do you, now do you agree? Death, you hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now, do you, do you agree that we don't have to eat the animals, that we can eat plant-based options instead? Uh, not everybody has that option, bro. Go to, go to any tribe in Africa okay. or anywhere. They don't have do that you, option. Do you, do, you, do you have that option to eat plant-based foods? Uh, yeah, but I don't want to. Okay, great. So, what, so why don't you – why do you want to kill and harm the animals? Because you more protein and it's just – that's a dumb argument, bro. That's an well, opinion-based well, argument. I get, but I can get – you don't want to eat meat, food. don't eat meat. But not but, everybody has to fucking follow your rules. Right, but I'm, I'm saying that we can still get protein as a vegan, and we get plenty of it. So what I'm justifies fine. killing I animals? I don't care. I don't care. I get plenty of Hold on, hold on, meat. hold on. That's hold not on. an argument. Hold on, sir. Do you agree that it's wrong to kill the dog? Obviously. But China okay, doesn't think that. So, so, so why is it – okay, great. So okay. why is it okay to kill a – why is it wrong to kill the dog but not, but not wrong China to kill the dog? China kills dogs and eats them. They don't think so, it's I, wrong. Not, this sir, is all you, opinion. Can you, can you stay on track with the argument? Yeah. Name the trait that separates the dog from the cow that justifies killing the cow, but not the dog. A cow is a trait. It's a uh, fucking – what the fuck? A farm market animal. They're all on the market. They're a market animal. Right. That's uh, – right. So if we farm dogs, would it be okay to eat dogs? You butcher a steer. You don't kill a if, random cow. If we this farmed – think you sir, listen, listen, listen. If we farmed there, people, would it make it okay? That's – we're talking about – that's not even fucking the same. No, 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 no. Because, see, what you're saying is this. You're saying you're, you're only just a human Hold life on. to a fucking Hold animal. Hold on. Guys, listen. I know you're so anxious, but just listen. Listen to me. Your only justification for killing these cows is that they are farmed. But I can use this for people. I can say that people, if we farmed people, would that justify killing people? Yes or no? Direct answer, please. Yes or no? Does it justify killing people if we farm them? Who on this earth is farming people, bro? Sir, this is a hypothetical to realize that you're less no, we're not talking, we're not talking hypothetically. We're well, talking we about what's happening right now. Because it points out because this is a You're form venturing of off of the topic listen, what we're talking listen, about. Like, you call me listen, out for just a minute. Listen, there's a flaw in your logic. You're saying there's that it's not. justified to kill a dog or uh, kill a cow because they're farmed. Through- what if we farmed a person? Would that justify killing the person? Was Hitler justified for killing everybody no, that he no, killed? He no, wasn't. he wasn't. Now, so that's not question? a good can argument. Answer the we're question, sir. Fucking, what justifies killing the person? We're talking about food for the world, not killing Okay, great, humans. great, great. So if we farmed people, would that be okay to you? Any tribe, bro, does not – they can't fucking eat plant-based foods. You're sir, – we're not talking You're about not tribes. We're sense, talking about bro. you. We're talking about you, sir. Now, can what? you please answer the question? You if said it's okay me, to kill. Why are you hold asking on, me? Hold, it's on, okay hold, to on, hold on, hold on, hold on, farm you said, hold that on. Farm humans. Hold on, hold on, please, please, sir, please. You said it's okay to farm an animal be, uh, to kill an animal because they're farmed. What if we farmed people? They, that just a people? food market animal. I didn't say any animal. I'm not okay, saying great. any so animal. What, so if we farmed, any, any sir, please, please answer the question, please. I'm giving you one more. T- I'm giving you one more chance, sir. If we farmed people, would that be okay Dude, to kill them? You can. I don't want your chance. Your that question makes no fucking sense Why to not? your actual Why question. Why not? Because farming humans and farming market animals is totally different. What's the difference? A hu- uh, no animals have emotions. They can't fucking cry. They don't they, get. No. They do absolutely do. Dogs can cry. Cows can cry. Pigs can cry. Chicken can cry. And they have emotions. They, they have sentience. And you. they have they, consciousness. They and they don't want to die. Your arguments make no sense to actual. Life. Show me. Then, then show me. Give an actual refutation I'm, instead of I'm complaining. I'm telling you. No, not all cows are farmed for food. They're steers. Steers are the only ones that are fucking butchered. I don't okay, even so what you justifies know butchering the animals that are farm. There are farm market pigs. What justifies not doing that? All what pigs justifies are killed. There's sir, what justifies everything that what are farm. justifies killing the cow? To feed everybody that wants to eat it. Okay, not great. Everybody but has wait, to follow okay, your okay, rules. Great, great. Now, now, do you agree that we can feed people on plant-based foods? 
Not everybody. Not everybody has that access, dude. Like everybody's been telling you. Okay, again, you can still be vegan if you have to eat animal products, but I'm, ta I'm not talking about people in Africa or the Sentinel Island. I'm talking about you. What justifies well, you, just you talking about hypothetically cow. earlier? Just, so why sir, can't I just, talk about hypothetically? Sir, listen, listen. You just agreed before that you can be plant based, right? I'm. I guess I could. Okay, great. I, I guess so anybody what, so, really so, could. So now, yeah. So now, you, now you concede. So now you concede that it's not. It's not necessary that you eat animal products. So what it justifies? Is very so what justifies no, killing the animal? Eat a fucking pound of salad to make up for a fucking bite. No, of a I don't. I don't even eat that much salad. I don't eat that much salad. So you can get protein from lots of beans. You can I, get I from know protein. this, and I eat beans with my meat so, because it so, fucking tastes so, good. So what justifies at, killing at the cow? At one point, you, you do what you want to do because you like it. No, so I do it because, because, because I like it. Because I have ethics. Don't care, no, listen, you listen, don't listen. Care, I don't listen, care. sir. I do it because I have ethics. What ethically ethics justifies killing what? cows? You have no ethics. You think that every animal is getting abused when they're slaughtered. That's not the case. Yes, they are being abused. Any, they're being slaughtered for no reason. To a slaughterhouse no that's reason. like in your sir, hometown or anywhere. Sir, listen, listen. No, no, sir. You make no sense. Oh my gosh. 99% of animals in factories are being abused in cages. They're factory farmed. That is abuse. They're sitting in their own feces. They're sitting in their own urine, stuffed in these cold, dark cages where they can't move. They can't be themselves. They can't be free. They never go outside. And then they're slaughtered at a young age when they could have lived for a long more time. That is abuse to me. Slaughtering an animal when you're killing it, taking its life early, that is abuse to me. So again, for the last time, what justifies taking away the life of animals when you don't have to, when they could have been free and happy? Why are you exploiting these poor animals? Please justify it. Give an argument or go away. <laughs> Why do you keep asking me the same dumb ass question? Can you keep ask me a new one? Dumb response. Ask me a new one. I'll give you plenty of responses that then give me one that actually puts you to the shame. Then give me, bro. Then give me one that actually comments. justifies killing the animal. Read your comments, bro. How about you listen to the conversation here? How about you stay part of the conversation and justify killing animals? I've I've tried, bro, and you don't understand. Let's hear the argument then. I've gave you plenty, and all you say is give listen, the listen, 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 give listen, your listen. Actual argument. I go hypothetically, and I'm not allowed to. But then you're allowed to go hypothetically on killing humans and shit. Because your hypothetics doesn't actually refute my position. You're my hypothetics actually refuse your position. How you want it to Can be. you stay engaged with the conversation, buddy? Listen, you are killing animals because you think that they're farmed. Well, how about okay. humans? What just? A, I don't know if you ever. Hold on, sir. Please hold on. Hold here's on. My, here's hold my on. Thing. Hold on. Okay. What? What did? What do you? Would it justify killing people if we farm them? That that doesn't make sense, bro. Have you ever dropped off oh any God. kind can of you, market? Can you engage in the conversation, the sir? Would it be justified to kill people if we farm them? We've already went over this conversation, bro. Okay, We've already answered go away. Question, because so you, we actually haven't. You have not answered the question ever. You've never answered the question. No, it, there's no justification for killing animals. It doesn't exist. You don't have to. It's not necessary. <clears throat> hey, what do you got? What's up? Um... You got some good arguments, and uh, sir, I don't but, give a shit. Give me an argument that justifies killing animals. Hurry up. Okay. From Neanderthal man, there's a chemical sir, in me that give exasperates. An brain I don't care if you're old. Give an argument. Now, all animals that are vegans have smaller brains than those animals that are carnivores. Elephants have the largest, sir. Elephant. First of all, animals are not. I didn't so, say elephants. Sir, sir, stop! 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 Animals are not vegan. They can't be vegan because it's an ethical stance, which needs, requires logic and a brain like, like, like we have. Let now, me when rephrase. It to, when it, hold on, hold on. When it comes to elephants, they have the largest brains in the world. They have larger brains than humans and they only eat plants. Do you yeah, agree? They're not smarter. It, they are very smart, sir. They are but smart, they, but they are not smarter the way, than the carnivore. How about, how about lions? Sir, sir, listen. Lions have very small brain sizes compared to their body sizes, yet they eat only meat. So why aren't lions very, very intelligent? Why are they dumb? 
They're not dumb. Compared to an they elf calculate. Man. Compared they to an theorize, elf they calculate. Compared to a person, they are. No, they they're actually pretty smart animals. Okay, why is it that they are not as smart as elephants? If you're saying that meat makes you smarter. Um. No, I said meat grew the brain of humans. No, it didn't. There's there's no, yes, so, first it did. of all, there's no evidence of this. Yes, Second there is. Ball, there's a chemical myoprin, okay, myoprin okay, in meat sir, listen, that has stop, evolutionary stop, been stop, proven stop, to stop, grow stop, the brain. Stop, stop, stop. It doesn't matter. First of all, that's not true. There's no evidence that the, that meat grew a brain. Yes, there is. You can look it up no, on no, the no, internet. No. Listen, listen, listen. Lions eat meat, but their brains are small compared to their body sizes. So there's nothing in meat that makes your brain grow. But more importantly, it doesn't matter if it did because we no longer need to eat meat anymore. We can be perfectly fine and healthy as vegans. Do you agree? No. Why not? Why can't we be healthy? Because again? over time, our body has changed. Meat has no, made no, our no, stomach no, no. shrink. Why and can't we be healthy as vegans right now? Because you can't get enough nutrition. Give an example. Without, without Give added protein. Give an example. Give an example of a nutrient that I can't get as a vegan. I said enough nutrition. Give an example. You can get proteins and all from soybeans and all. Give an example. Uh, I can't. Exactly, because you don't know the fuck you're talking about. I could get B12 from vegan foods. I could get every amino acid I need from vegan foods. I, I didn't say you couldn't. I said you I can't get enough foods. of it. You have no fucking sources. You have no data. You're just rambling, and you're not even having. You're not even giving an argument against veganism. You're rambling. What is your argument that justifies killing animals? Protein. You can't, can't get, get as much protein get, from the stop, same amount of stop, source of vegetables that you can stop. from meat. I can get protein from vegan foods. You can't get as much as you can from meat. Yes, I can. Chickpeas, no, beans, kidney beans have as much protein per calorie as steak. But you have to eat more quantity no, of them I to get don't. the same protein. No, I don't. That's wrong. I can get plenty of protein as a vegan by eating beans and nuts and seeds and vegetables. There's plenty of protein in these foods. I eat as many calories as you and get still plenty of protein. I don't know about that. I eat about 3,500 calories a day. Okay, Easy. well, there are vegan bodybuilders who eat 5,000 calories and get hundreds of grams of protein. I know many vegan bodybuilders and vegan powerlifters who can outlift your ass any day of the week. Oh, I didn't say I'd lift it. It's just work. Okay, great, great, great. So what is your actual argument against veganism? Oh, I'm going to go. Just... I don't have a problem with vegans. No, that's my not problem is vegans tell me that I can't eat you, meat sir. because that's meat is it, it's well, wrong to eat meat. What I asked you, sir, what I asked you was this: What justifies killing and abusing animals? Hurry up! It's diet. No, it is not. It is ethics. I can get plenty of stuff as a vegan and be ethical as a vegan. I'm sorry, sir, but that's not a justification for killing animals. Hey, what do you got? Hey, so I'm a vegan actually myself. I've been vegan for five years, but I have a. Hey, what do you got? Hey, man. So um, I'm just kind of curious. Uh, you're against eating, like uh, killing and eating meat, right? Like yeah, yeah. Now, what is your what is like your that? argument against uh, veganism? Do um, you realize how many animals die to actually create vegan food? Way less, aware than, that? way less no, animals no, die. No, no, no. no. Close. It, takes one, it takes one bullet to kill one deer. Do you know how many animals die okay. during okay. the process stop, of stop, growing stop. food? Listen, no, listen, no, no. listen, listen. Finish. Stop, 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 no, stop, I want to stop, 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 why? stop, stop. Listen, let me respond here. You're not giving me time to respond. First of all, your argument is futile. There are only about 50 or 40 million deer in existence. In order for us to kill all those you deer. Give me time to respond. No, 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 no. Stop, sir. Stop, stop. It is not possible to kill deer to survive for global population. It's not possible because guess what? That's why we had to invent factory farming because there's 80 billion. We need to kill 80 billion animals to sustain people. But guess what? There's only 40 million deer. That's not enough to sustain the population. So that's not possible unless we factory, factory farm them, which, so which, goes back, which brings us back to square one. So okay? The second argument you said was this. You said that many animals die in crop fields. Well, I agree. Can I many animals can do I die, but it's guess can what? It's only about a couple. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me hold on. 
It's only about a couple per five acres, and there's many studies on this. But more importantly, the the dot the deaths in crops in crop fields are not intentional deaths. I am not here intending those animals to die. I intend to buy a vegan product, and that's what I'm but buying. You, I'm but, buying you are, but you hold are, but you are. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, and then I have one more response, and then you can respond, okay? Yeah, but I wasn't no, finished. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Seventy percent of animals in the world are uh, seventy percent. Seventy percent of crops in the world are grown for your animal feed. So you're killing way more crop animals by being a meat eater because all the crops we have to grow are being fed to cows, pigs, and chickens. So you're killing way more animals as a as a as a meat eater. Okay. So now okay. go ahead and what is your actual argument? That well, just you, you, inter you interrupted me right off the bat. Let's just go ahead and throw out that out there. You interrupted me right off the bat before I could even say anything. First of all, and there's the difference between ratification, preservation, preservation and conservation, conservation and eradication. eradication. Okay, so what justifies, what, what, what justifies, what, what justifies, sir, hold on. on. I'm going to blow you up and post you on what, what, you what justifies killing I'd like animals? Finish, I'd like to finish talking. Sir, sir, I'd like what justifies killing animals? I would like to finish talking. You keep interrupting. I would like to finish talking. What? You're not, you're not can arguing. Finish, you're can just, I finish talking? No, because you won't listen to me. I would like to finish talking. that justifies killing animals? Because you guys kill millions of animals to grow your tofu and no, stuff like that. that is, you no, guys no, 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 that's yes, false. Yes, you do. You that absolutely do. You no, absolutely do. No, that is false. 90% of soybeans in the world are not grown for tofu. They're grown for meat eaters. Guess, guess what? Soy, wheat, corn, alfalfa, grasses, all of these foods are grown for animals. You're yeah, and how many animals hold on, die hold on, in the hold process? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm correcting you. Most of the crops you grow in the world are fed to your animals. So you're killing way more animals by being a meat eater. So and how many animals are killed? And how many, how many animals, animals. animals are you killed? Also, you to... also neglected what I said before. What I said before was that animals, we don't intend to kill them in, on crop fields. We, it's not intentional deaths. So that is justified to me because those are not intentional deaths. There's a difference between intentional killing and non-intentional non killing. Do you agree? Did, did you need, did you know that vegetable fields actually kill about 7.3 billion animals a year? Did you know that that's not, that's first of all, that's not true, but more importantly, did it, you it absolutely that, is. Did it you absolutely that, look on, it up. Look it up. It's on. actually true. Well, you, oh, you know, I, have to wait. I have to wait. I can't speak. You can speak. That's, did, did you know that 75 to 80 percent of all crops in the world are grown for animals you keep neglecting this that all those animals that you're killing are because of your meat don't you get it we have to the, grow all these the crops fact that all these animals, animals that grow your don't you understand stuff, it's killed during the process yes you're killing way more animals than vegans no no. Yes, you are. Eighty no. percent of animal of, of crops but, but, are being but, fed but to the your point, animals. But the point is, is you're, if you're a vegan, the animals can't die. That's the point. Is you're no, a vegan, that's animals not true. can't die. No, that's, that's what you're not saying. What veganism means. Yes. We, no. Oh, oh, so, no. No. So no. 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 Uh, let, let me let me fix this. Veganism means we want to minimize animals. No. 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 Stop interrupting. You've oh, interrupted you way can. too many you times. Can. You're going away. You don't even know what veganism is. Hence, you can't be part of this debate. <sighs> veganism is an ethical stance against animal cruelty as much as practically possible. I, as a vegan, am not here to say that I'm perfect, that I kill nothing. That's not possible. However, what I am saying as a vegan is that I am minimizing animal deaths as much as practically possible. And I am not intending to kill animals that is what a vegan is someone who doesn't want to kill animals you are someone who wants to kill animals for no good reason that's the difference here that is not justified and by the way you're killing way more animals by being a meat eater because most crops in the world are fed to your animals that's a fact of reality and by the way your source that seven billion animals are dying that's not true most of those deaths in crops are actually from animals like mice who go to the fields, but then they die when they leave the fields from predators. That's not, that is, I wouldn't consider that responsible. I wouldn't be responsible for those deaths. Those are not intentional deaths. So you have to remember that there are much more nuances behind this than just, oh, look, you kill animals. That's not a good argument for the reasons I just mentioned.
All right, let's get the next guest. And I know you guys all don't like me because I go against everything you believe. But if you just listen to me, what I'm saying, it's correct. Vegans are minimizing cruelty. We're also better for the environment. So if you care about the environment, you should go vegan too. There's no good reason to kill animals at all. <clears throat> Eating animals is good for me because uh, it's just good for me. Yeah, but that's not. Yeah, what I think it right. tastes good. I think so, it, okay, it, great. It, it works that's, out for not ethics. Jeffrey well, Dahmer, my body. Hold on, sir. Hold on. Jeffrey Dahmer would have said this to, to babies. Oh, I like the way they taste. It's good for me to kill people, right? That's what Jeffrey Dahmer says. But we have ethics, right? We care about others. So it's not good for the animal that they're, that they're dying. Do you agree? No, I do not agree. Uh, so it's, it's an animal. Okay. So what justifies killing animals? Um, nutrition. Right. But I can get the same nutrition from plant-based options. Do you agree? Uh, no. Okay, great. Then give me the nutrient that I'm missing. Um, I don't really have an answer for that. I just think animals are good for yeah, eating. So, so you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, and you're gonna you're not gonna debate here if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And more importantly, I mean that 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 that, that there alone should be enough to justify what is. So, so when you come up here, you say it's good for me. That's not an argument. That's not ethics. Ethics is when I consider others around me. I consider the animals. I consider people in my ethical framework. That's ethics. I don't just do it because it's good for me. A, a rapist can use that argument. That's not good. It's a bad fucking argument. It's futile. There is no justification for killing animals at all. Yeah, there's a vacation for killing animals. Uh, whenever a farmer goes and plants pl crops, they kill everything, every animal. No, that's not true. Where's your source on that, by the way? Where do you, where's your source that every animal dies? Whenever you go and harvest the crop. You're going to kill everything that's where's in this your, place. Where's your source, sir, that every animal dies? Everywhere. That's not a source, sir. Where's Go your scientific there. source? Where's the scientific source that says all animals die when you grow crops? Every animal on that plant right there, right there on the farm, is going to die. That's not, a, that's not a source, sir. Where's your source? At least whenever I go kill an animal, I eat... The whole animal. I'm only hurting one. So animal. You're, you're, I can use that for humans. Oh, at least when I kill people, I'm eating all their body parts. This is a stupid argument, sir. I'm asking you what justifies killing animals that don't have to die? <laughs> okay, he ran away. So here's a study called Field Deaths in Plain Agriculture by uh, Bob Fisher and Andy Leamy in the Journal of Agriculture and Environmental Ethics. And it demonstrates that about two animals per five acres die in crop fields. That's two. So the idea that every animal dies is a nonsensical claim. It has no basis behind it. And more importantly, those are not intentional deaths. Like I said before, crop deaths are not an argument against veganism because not only is it the fact that you guys kill way more crops and more animals in crop fields, but the fact that they were not intentional, that there's a reason as to why those animals die, the farmers are protecting their crops. That is a justified reason as to why they kill those animals. And and um, that's why veganism is not, that's why eating animals is not justified. All right. Hey, what do you got? Can you hear me? Yep, what's your argument? My argument is that we were put on this earth to eat animals, not eat humans. So you should definitely shut up about eating other humans because you just sound like an absolute weirdo. Okay, and so why is it wrong to eat other people? 
how is it not wrong? Are you are you an idiot? We were put on, we were put on this earth to breed with humans, not eat. Animals were put on this earth to feed us. Okay, why? why how, okay, so how do you how do you know how do you know that the animals are here for us to eat? Because how are they not? They like there's no like. Well, here's why your here's why your argument is terrible. And okay. It's, it's, because, I, I think everyone because, in the chat because we are animals them. because we are animals so the fact that the animals are made of the same stuff we're made by the way cows are made of the same meat and protein we're oh, made of so right? you're saying so, you're so saying if you, by going on, butcher hold on, human, hold, on, hold, on hold on guys hold on if you say that the animals are here for us to eat well you're just arguing for cannibalism because humans are animals and we're made of the same fucking stuff the animals are so <laughs> you, where is your symmetry breaker between animals and humans that gives us a justification for killing the animals? Let's hear it. Okay. No, let me ask you this question first. So you have obviously you have not been a vegan your whole life. You act like you act like you're doing something for one. You aren't doing shit. I think you're making people not want to be vegan. Oh, so you actually have no argument. You just want to. No, 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 no. Listen, I have a question. Because you have, have no question. argument. Have this is a complaint, a sir. Go I take have a question. I have a question. Wait, wait, give wait, wait. us an actual argument against vegans. Me... Because by the way, yeah. I am helping people. I have helped thousands. You are helping. You are I will continue shit. doing so while you sit in your ass and do nothing. I don't know. Give us an argument against vegans. You are helping shit. No. Okay. I have helped people. Sir, and by the way, I've helped thousands of animals too. No, no, no. Now, can you demonstrate no, 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 no. to us Let that animals should question. die? Let me ask you, how long have you been vegan? It doesn't matter, sir. Five years. Now, okay. can you give us an argument that and, justifies killing animals? And okay, no, I'm just. Let me ask you a question. No, this is oh, not Doctor Phil. God. What is your <laughs> argument that justifies killing animals? Let's go. They feed us properly, and it's so do plant-based foods. I'm trying to, so do plant-based foods. So do plant-based foods. <laughs> I find, dude, let me ask you this. Let me ask. No, you. do not but ask me any more I'm questions. This is not because Dr. you keep Phil. comparing a, eating a human versus eating away. a fucking no, animal. No, no, no. Listen, guys. This is not how you debate somebody. You don't come up here and ask questions. You give an argument, and then we refute those arguments. Give an argument or go away. Well, just fucking let me ask a question quick. Um, how about no? Next. I'm not here to answer your dumb questions. I'm here to get an argument and refute that. That's a debate. Hey, what do you got? Hey, man, you doing all right? Yeah, what's your argument? I, I'm, it's not, I wouldn't call it an argument. It's just a, a different perspective, I guess. No, uh, what is your argument that justifies killing animals? If you don't have an argument, you have no place to debate here. For me personally, my justification is it is the way I choose to live my lifestyle and cause less harm than other forms of life, other lifestyles, basically. It's not like a perfect solution. I'm 100% adamantly against like mass cattle farms and okay. stuff like that. I okay. think that that's inhumane. Okay. So, so you're saying it's a choice. So is rape yeah, and murder. Is that sure. justified doing those things? I know, I know it's your choice, sir, but I'm asking you, is it the ethical choice? What justifies doing that? What is a justification for killing animals when they don't have to die? I know it's a choice, but what justifies that choice? My just, like I said, my justification is because my, like wherever your baseline of your morality and mine, they may not be the same. So whereas you see taking that animal's life, like say, for me personally, like I, I use my personal life to justify my arguments, right? Okay, so, okay, uh, okay, let's, I, let's try this, I let's try help, this, right? okay, fine, Let, let's try this approach then. Okay. Do you think it's wrong to kill a person? No. Well, it depends, it depends on the person. Like I said, it's every case by case scenario, you know, like okay. I'm 100% okay with like killing pedophiles, child rapists, I 100% think uh, okay, they should all so, Okay, okay, okay. Is it okay to murder? Well, once again, it's case by case, right? Like, would it, is it okay just to go kill like a like a school bus full of kids? No. Is it okay to kill somebody that's causing you harm? Yes. So that's not murder, sir. If you don't, if you, if you think there's reasons to kill somebody, if you think there's a justification to kill to murder, I can't debate you. 
Uh, I'm really hoping this is not something that has to go against murder or anything like that. We're talking about veganism and eating meat, yeah? Yeah. Do you, what, what is your justification for killing animals? Uh, I, I feel like they have a, a nice little place on this earth. You know, I mean, if, if you gave yourself your own nice little area of being a human on the earth, what, what do you think your purpose for, for being on earth is, right? As an animal, what else matter, are you going to do? It doesn't matter. What, else what you... justifies killing animals if they don't have to die? For food, silly. But we can, food, we can get food from plant-based food. Yeah. Uh, so uh, why would why what, what would the difference be then from killing a plant than killing a animal? What is sentient? An animal. What is sentient, aware, and conscious, and what is not? Are, are you trying to say that plants are not alive? They're alive, but they're not sentient or conscious or aware. Does it? Does how the? Why would that matter then? If they're both living things, uh, then where does it? Sure, where does it come from? It's like in a rock. It's, it's like it's like you can't harm a rock. It's a rock, right? Like. This is a different thing from an animal or a cow. A cow is sentient. They can feel pain. They don't want to die. They have lives. They're valuable beings. They're amazing beings that don't have to die and they shouldn't die. What Run. justifies killing the animals? In that case, plants are alive too. Why would you? Why would you kill a plant that is happily growing, happily sprouting, happily giving its no, life no, to this no, earth? You're, now you're personifying plants. Plants are just plants. They're just, they're just, they're living, but they're not sentient, right? They're not, they don't have any personalities. They don't have any feelings. They don't have any emotions. They don't have brains or nervous systems. I know they're alive, but that not, doesn't mean anything. So is my left ash cheek. So is bacteria. Do I, do I care if I kill the bacteria in my mouth? No, it's a bacteria. Why wouldn't you? What Why justifies you killing animals? What justifies killing animals? is for food i mean that's that's my answer i mean now, you, now at this point now you got to really okay. back up why would so, you justify eating plants and killing plants for your own benefit of just because nutrients. they're not sentient they don't feel pain and they don't feel harm but more they importantly do. there are studies for plants actually having to be, uh, being able to feel pain obviously they're not going to be screaming no, out. No, oh, no, that, that's hurts. incorrect so first of all plants are not sentient they don't have nervous systems or brains but more importantly there could be some kind of electrochemical activity happening there, but it doesn't mean it's sentient. My phone communicates with other things. It doesn't mean it's sentient. There's a difference between communication and sentience. But more importantly, um, when you said that uh, animal, it's okay to kill an animal because it's food. Well, how about humans? Is it okay to kill a human for food? Uh, I'd say within the right circumstance, yeah, absolutely. You, you catch yourself what if, on a- Okay, what if you had another option? Such as? Plant. Plant-based food. Well, obviously, I'll, t I'll take my options, right? It, it, now you're talking about options. Why would sir? If, what if I had the sir? Can, can you answer that? Can you answer the question directly? What is more ethical to you, killing a person or killing a, a plant? And, uh, you gave me two answers. This is about uh, eating animals, okay? Right? I'll uh, sure. I'll eat a fucking plant first. I wouldn't okay, eat. Okay, great, great, great. Plant. So, so you agree that there's different degrees of sentience? You you agree that there's there's one's more ethical it's more ethical to eat the plant versus the human right yeah from a plant okay, to great. a human are you, so are you now, a cow now, okay are great you so now let's go to the cow yeah. um what is more ethical killing a cow or killing a plant uh, ethically both are actually okay they both supply me with okay nutrients. they're both okay I, they're I'm the not same okay so you're so a carrot is the same as a cow okay so absolutely what justify so what is the name the trait that the cow has or that the human has that the cow doesn't have that justifies killing the cow? Meat, meat, iron, oh, taste. No. People people have meat, people have iron, people have taste. Uh-huh. Okay. Continue. So uh, what can a plant give me then in that case that a, that a meat can't bring me? Like, like beef, pork, give me something. You can use that for human flesh too. I can't get human flesh, so I gotta eat people because I like their flesh, right? This is a stupid argument. Oh, I'm asking you, you can, what you is can... the trait? You you lost track here, sir. Name the trait that justifies killing the cow, but not the person. Okay, so your definition of treat and my treat obviously must be the same here, or different. Because the treat is eating the meat, the texture, the, the flavor, the, everything that you don't <laughs> no, have to go. What is the trait of the animal that justifies killing the animal but not the not the here's your answer you ready here's the answer i want you to listen meat flavor meat flavor can you do that with plants Hu yes humans have flavor too in their meat yeah yeah so can can it there's no difference there's no rich, difference can it give me that rich 
flavor that I'm looking for that a, a, a seared uh, nice ribeye would be able to give me. Can I can I, can I go and cook a what piece if, of wait, rice what, what if, to get that? What if you, what if what if humans did taste good? Would that justify killing humans if they taste good? Oh, see now you're going to a what if scenario, right? Are we not talking about treats? Are we not talking Sir, about good things? Our ancestors here? were cannibals, and many many people do say who are cannibals that humans do taste good. Would that justify killing humans? Have you? Have you tasted them? No, I never did. No, so not, never so you have anybody. no room to speak on it. Obviously, S if this is somebody's own opinion. Sir, if this is somebody's opinion. What if humans tasted good? Would that justify killing them? You tell me. Right? If it, if it tasted no, good, would it you No, it wouldn't justify killing them. You tell me now. Where's your argument? Your argument is, can you justify eating animals? Absolutely. Right? Your argument is, is right here. What is the justification? What is What is the justification? Texture flavor proteins things that i don't have to go into other okay, like uh, and, and, and protein is found in humans texture is found in human bodies what? Oh Taste my God. Is human found to humans. Animals. Uh, humans to animals humans to animals humans to what's animals, the difference right? what's the moral what difference human to an uh, a human can uh, they think the ape the apex predator honestly if i got eaten by something that was even so greater than me so, so do cows so think big. So eat them. So eat them. It's fine. They think, but what, to what? To what? what degree? Sir, going? sir, you you have to answer this directly, please, or you're going to go away. What is name the trait that separates humans from animals that justifies killing the animal, like a cow? Protein. How about that? All animals have protein, there including, you go. Humans, so, including humans. Including so, humans. Including so. humans. Humans have protein. Yeah. So, uh, what's the drawback of eating a human? Tell me. It's murder. It's harming uh, some innocent uh, sentient being. Without, without po political reasons, because obviously eating a cow is not political, right? It's a sentient, it's, living, conscious being who doesn't want to die. Are you fucking it, serious right now? Absolutely. So, okay, look, Mike, stay on track here, buddy. So, oh, you, no, you murder, you, you, you you murder someone. No, no, you're going away. You're off the track now. You're completely off the track, because guess what? You can't be honest. You're not an honest interlocutor, because you can't keep up with the argumentation. Next. He accepted it! <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello? What do you got? Alright, so you think you think that it's immoral to uh, eat animals? Yeah. Well, what do animals do in the wild? So animals in the wild, yeah, sure, they eat each other, uh, many of them do, but guess what? They do that out of survival needs. Humans don't have survival needs. We can buy store food in the grocery store. So are you trying to like, you know, what, what's your like, what's your end goal here to make people stop eating meat? To get an Ooh, argument from you, but you can't seem to do that. I mean, listen, it, we've been eating animals for like h h thousands of years, bro. And like, You've also been I don't sniffing each other's asses. Should I sniff your ass? You can sniff my ass, but it don't change the fact that I'll still eat meat. Okay. You think it's acceptable for us to go around and sniff each other's asses? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking, bro. Obviously not. Okay, be great. Weird. So then just because we do something in nature doesn't mean it's good. Listen. Listen, humans, they won't, they won't get the same protein that, um, that you get from an animal, right? From other humans. Because no, listen, so, so then name that name the amino acid that we can't get from plants. They can only. Man, get I, from I can't I can't think of it from the top of my head, but oh, see, yeah. see, I didn't do my research. I didn't, I didn't do my research exist. before. I come. It doesn't exist. We can get all the protein we need as vegans. There's no need for animal products at all in our diets. Hmm. Well, what if what if you're in the wild, right? And there's no like, there's no. Uh... Okay, what if you need it for survival needs? We're not in the sh we're not in the wild. This isn't Lion King. All right, all right. This isn't the circle. This we're, we have yeah. we have phones. We have cars. Are you fucking serious? We have cars, yes, but like we still like to eat meat, though. It tastes good. I don't think. Okay, so so what if humans tasted good? But would, would it justify killing humans? I mean, bro, no, no, not really. Okay, why why not? What's the trait that separates because, us from the from the animals that justifies? Because we are dominant we like we roam eight billion people there's eight billion people in the world so like I'm we basically ruled... i ain't get to kill anybody because i'm dominant is this no we get to we get to we get to eat whatever we want 
because you know that's that's all right. Yeah. If you're a cannibal, you, you, you it's just against the law. You could hold theoretically. On, hold, on, hold on, hold on. I agree that we can eat whatever you want, which which yeah. actually gives veganism more uh, favorability because we have choices, and with choices comes responsibility. It is not responsible to harm and kill and abuse billions of animals in factories across the world every year. That is less responsible. Well, yeah, that is, that is kind of unethical. Animals. There is unethical ways of killing animals. Right. So, but, so why do you do it? Listen, I'm not the one killing the animals. They sell it in the supermarket. I'm just over there buying yeah. it. But, the, but you're paying somebody to kill it for you. Well, we just buy the, we just buy the product. They, yeah, they're the ones. It's called, it's called supply and demand. Every time you buy meat at the store, you're demanding more animals to die for you. Well, that's that's true. That's true. But I don't. Your points, I don't think, will change like the majority of people. Like they'll still be eating animals, no matter that's if you. Argument. That's not a good argument, sir. Or I'm asking for an argument that justifies animal killing. You can't do that. It seems. <sighs> not really. That's it. Okay. Well, at least you're I honest. But I say, I, I, at least you're honest. <clears throat> Hello there. Hey, what's your argument? Uh, so you're you're against killing animals, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, what kind of device are you using? A computer, a phone? A phone. A phone the lithium battery and that is a, a mined product which uh, destroys land that was once housed with housing animals so they all died to make your phone. what so first of all that's yeah. ridiculous but second more importantly it's not I, ridiculous no, 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 hold, sir I, this is you guys always say this every day the problem with this argument okay. is that as a vegan, I'm not here to say I'm perfect or that I can stop all cruelty. That's not my position. My position is that we have choices. We can make practical choices in our lives that reduces and minimizes animal suffering. I can't get rid of my phone. I need my phone to survive. I need my phone for a job. Okay? So that's why my phone is not a good reason to, me not, to not be vegan. Having a phone how, how is by you killing and harming innocent beings. But how old are you? Why does that matter, sir? Give an oh, argument. Does, I'm, I'm 42 years old. and I don't and give I a shit. What justifies killing well, animals? No, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to justify something. So, uh, you know, I grew up without a phone. I didn't have a phone on a, on a regular basis. Until sir, we live in 2023, sir, where we need phones for jobs. And Most jobs today require phones, need it, including so my own, sir. I can't. So, from again, phone. again, again, sir, again. You guys always try to use this dumb argument because it's all you got, but it doesn't work because as a vegan, I'm not saying that I have to just turn my mm -hmm. life around for the animals. What I'm saying is that we can make practical choices and we can deal with the cards we're dealt with and make the best mm -hmm. choices with what we have in front of us. I, so do you justify vegan, killing you're animals the best to grow your food? To minimize cruelty in the, to the animals by not consuming animal products. I don't wear products mm -hmm. for animals. I don't eat animal products. That is me trying to do my best I can, which is practical for me to do, and mi with minimizing cruelty. Now, do you agree that it is more ethical to minimize cruelty than to maximize it? Do you agree? Oh, yeah, I agree. And they minimize okay, the cruelty and why are you not producing vegan? plants. Then why aren't you vegan? Why am I not vegan? Yeah. Be because I require protein from meat. There's vitamins and minerals. You can get protein, from, and animal, you can, you can and, get protein and, from plant based products. But there's a lot of things that you can get from meat that you can't get just from a plant based diet. Name one. Okay. Um, vitamin K. We get that from leafy greens. Right, but you're going to get into more abundance from meat, which is why dogs and cats and no, all those we can other get animals we can get all the K we need from leafy greens and vegetables. Next, uh, so okay, how about iron? You can get a lot more of that as well. Do you realize how no, much I could get plenty of I could get plenty of iron from vegetables chickpeas. you have in to fact, eat? To, in to, fact, to, spinach spinach has 100 percent of our RDA value with one serving of spinach. I could get plenty right, of right, but do you know how much from, you would have to eat in a day? Not much. One serving order to get. <laughs> one serving of one serving of spinach, uh -huh. uh, chickpeas have iron, uh, uh, macadamia nuts have plenty of iron. And right, there, there's plenty of these vitamins and a lot of things, but not enough for a, a yes, there is a enough. I have, I, my iron levels are perfect because I'm getting the right nutrients because I'm looking at what I'm eating. It's not hard. Mm -hmm.
So why is it that vegans, uh, I'd say maybe about 40% of them look like they're sick and dying? That's not true at all, first of all. Second of all, most meat eaters have cancer. Most meat eaters have heart disease. Does that justify not- Everybody uh, has cancer. Does, does most of it's due to the radiation in the air and the, the, the carbon emissions. No, 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 no. Did you know that meat raises your risk of, can of cancer and heart disease? Did you know that? Everything raises your heart. No, it doesn't. Cancer. Not plant-based diets. Plant-based diets are very healthy for you. That's why vegans are, you're probably overweight, but that's why vegans look skinny to you because you're overweight. No, oh, no, no. I didn't say skinny. I, I said they look like they're sick and dying. There's well, a that's difference. Your opinion, and that's you can false. be skinny and look healthy. Sir, sir you, you keep saying you're sick and dying, but guess what? Most meat eaters are sick and dying. Well, what about the vegan that, that, that <laughs> just made the news that she died from being Because under she wasn't getting proper nutrition, sir. See, you guys love to do uh, this. There are certain instances where you, if you starve yourself, of course you're going to die. You can starve mm -hmm. yourself as a meat eater. You could be malnutritioned as a meat eater, sir. The problem is you're pointing out these stupid fucking instances that don't matter. And you could be unhealthy you as can, a vegan, too. You, just so. like you could be unhealthy as a meat eater. So you have no okay. point here because you, you, we can be healthy as a vegan. We can, it is so, very easy to do so. Uh, okay, so uh, how about all the animals that die just to, to gr make the fields that have your uh, vegetables that grow on it? So most crops in the world are grown for your animals to be killed and to be fed for the animals to, that we kill. So you're causing way more crop deaths. But more importantly, the deaths that we cause in fields are actually not intentional deaths. They're unintentional deaths. As somebody that grew up around ranches, most of the food that we grow for vegans, it's the waste products from that food that goes to feed the animals. Yeah. Just so you know. Most, again, most crops in the world, like soybeans, most alfalfa, most uh, wheat, mm -hmm. corn, they're all grown for your animals. So you're killing way more no, animals by being a meat eater. They, they get the stuff that we don't eat. You know that, right? No, that's not true at all. That, that's actually true. When they grow corn, uh, we get the some, majority some of the corn that's sure. edible. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, sir. You're still, sir, stop, stop. It doesn't matter. You are still killing crop fields. You're and still then when they plow those fields, fields sir, listen, listen, crops, listen, 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 those animals listen, with the plows. listen, seventy percent of crops in the world are grown for animals. Seventy percent of land in the world is destroyed for animal farming. So you are causing way more crop deaths. You're causing way more biodiversity loss. And we have tons of studies that demonstrate this. We have tons of peer-reviewed studies that demonstrate meat eaters are killing more crops and they're killing more animals. That's a fact of reality, sir. You don't have an argument here. You have brought no sources. I can give you a source if you want to, but come back with an actual argument. You don't have one here. Give an argument that justifies killing animals. They don't have to die. Can you hear me? Okay. So you just made a good point. 70% of the, the crops right now, you said, are grown for animals. Now, let's say that's true, okay? So let's say we stop eating all these animals, right? Which means they're going to have to increase the amount of crops that are grown to feed the people that are now not eating. No, nope. incorrect. Incorrect. So have to increase. No, this is incorrect. They're going to have to take more land. No, no, incorrect. Stop. Incorrect. So how do you feed no, 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 billions no, no, no. Stop. of Incorrect. You... Stop talking. You're incorrect. You have to stop talking, sir. So if we stop it's eating not... animal products. No, no, no. Stop talking, sir. Let me respond because you're incorrect. Most crop, uh, when it comes to killing the animals, if we stop killing the animals, we would not need more crops. We'd actually need less crops because we kill 80 billion animals per year in factories across the world, which require a steady flux of crops. So if we stopped killing those animals, there would be less demand for, for uh, crops. But more importantly, studies like food, uh, like this study here, demonstrates that if everybody went vegan, we would actually save 70% 70 70 of land. We would actually save crops and save food. We'd have more food. We have a surplus of food. And this study is called Reducing Foods and Environmental Impacts Through Producers and Consumers. It's a study done by Oxford University by Jay Poor and T. Nemanek, and it demonstrates this, that we would actually save crops, save land, and save food by being vegan. So if it's a study, does that make it a fact? It, it's based on evidence and data that you can't refute. Yes. 
that I can't refute. So yeah, you're telling refute me that it, refute if, it for if me. everybody stopped study. eating, if everybody stopped eating meat, okay, and let's just say land-based meat, right? Cows, sheep, goat, pigs, right? So you're saying all of those people, which has got to be in the billions of people that eat all that, they stop eating all that. That means they're going to have to start increasing their intake of vegetables and no, stuff like that incorrect. in order to survive. That they're no, not no, going to no, have no. to. Open. Again, again, if everybody went the study, I just, you have to. That's why you have to read the study, buddy. You have to read the research because you're wrong. If everybody went vegan tomorrow, we would. So where do we get the food we from if we then. stop eating meat? Because if, guess what? Hold if on. If we stop eating meat, where hold do we get the food? On, hold on. The animals that you kill in factories eat way more crops than humans do. That's why. Because animals that you eat and slaughter and abuse eat six times more food than we do. So that's why we would unlock more resources for us to grow food for us. Hence, we'd actually kill less crops. We kill less land. That's why. Now, please refute this study or go away because you don't have any sources. At this point, you're just rambling. It doesn't really matter what anybody says to you. You're just going to end up trying to make oh, yourself you sound there like you're right. You there really is, don't care what other the people have to there say. Dude. You, can't refute, you can't refute it, so you cry. Stop crying and refute my argument. You can't. Nobody can. <laughs> hey, what do you got? If you were an animal, I would eat you. Um, Is this like a... Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> anyway, there's, there's no good reason to come. Hello. We got. I right, so I really, I really just have a question though. Like, no, 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 no. Give an argument or go away. Okay, well, it's a part of the circle of life, is my opinion, because humans are animals, and it's your mind and your ego that makes us think that we are above animals. You know no. what I mean? What do you think? You don't think it's an animalistic be have, behavior to we, want to eat? We have choices as people. We can make choices. We can eat whatever we want. Because we're the top of the food chain, we have power right. and choices, and with choices comes responsibility to make the most ethical, responsible choices. Who decided so to me, that? Killing animals is not responsible. It's not responsible for the animals. You're killing them. You're harming them. You're causing them emotional distraught. You're also harming the environment. Did you know that vegans have a 75% lower carbon footprint versus their counterpart meat eater? Did you know that? So there are multiple benefits for being vegan that I can't discount simply because it's the circle of life. That's garbage. This isn't the Lion King. I don't have to eat the animals. No, this is shouldn't. life. Is this what I'm saying? Do you feel like every omnivore has the choice whether to eat meat or plants? No, in the wild, they don't have a choice. They have to eat what they can to survive. Why do they do Humans so? have choices. We do have choices. That's why I'm vegan. Why are you not vegan? Because it's my choice. Right, but is it the ethical choice? I believe so. Based on my ethics, I feel like okay, you're great. trying to so force what it. So what justifies killing the animals? Why is it okay to kill a cow but not a person? I feel like it's okay for me to kill an animal if I want to eat it. And I feel like it's okay if a bear sees me lacking in the woods and wants to eat me because it's an animal and I'm an animal. Okay, listen, sir. What justifies killing the animal? What is your justification for killing cows that don't have to die? Please tell me choice you can the same choice you that you're to, sir choice can justify anything oh i choose to murder does that make it good well it depends on the situation you think murder is good depending on the situation what situation is murder good in um if there's a rapist on the spree kill him okay that's I not mean, okay. Well, that's a different situation. Then, then that's not murder. Exactly. Murder, you murder asked me for is a situation. Sir, not, murder is unjust. Like sir, listen. Murder is unjustified killing. Do you agree? No. Then what's murder to you? Killing. So you think it's murder to kill a bacteria or a carrot? 
Well, yeah. <laughs> It just okay. makes more sense. No, no, murder is about human to human contact, unjustified killing of a human being. That's murder, sir. I can't believe you're doing this. I can't believe that you can't even understand this. But more importantly, what you said is that, oh, I choose to do that, right? And the right. animal would kill me, but that's not true. That's a futile argument. Because, first of all, I agree. If there was a bear that killed you, you have the reason, you have the justification to kill the bear. But you're not in that no, situation. No, no, no. I'm saying what the situation bear, is, you're, you're is one my, where you are sitting argument. on your couch. No, wait, listen. No, hold wait, on, listen. hold on. The situation that's happening is you're sitting on your couch and you're ordering Kentucky Fried Chicken or you're ordering pizza or you're ordering, you know, Domino's or whatever. You're ordering animal products that you're killing. You're intentionally killing. What justifies killing animals that don't have to die? That's what I'm after, sir. What justifies killing animals that don't have to die? Can you give that argument? Please give that argument or go away. What justifies you deciding what has to die and what doesn't have to I'm die? I'm not saying that. It, I'm not saying that. I'm asking you, sir. What You're the one who says that the animals have to die for you. I'm asking what decide, why did you decide that and what justifies that? Because of my natural body having a gallbladder that I don't use anymore because I used to eat nothing but meat primarily. And now I don't eat meat as much because I use meat and salad because oh, that's sir, what I choose. Can you, can you, can you please? Because it's a please, part of nature. Please stay, can you please stay on track? With, sir, can you please stay on track with the argument? It is, you asked for an answer sir, and it's not sir, aligning with what on, you want stop, to hear. So stop, you're saying that it's falsified stop, or futile. Stop. What justifies killing Animals that don't have to die. Can you give the answer that you want to hear? Instead of give not me letting me give my answer. Sir, what is your argument? My argument is that it is simply choice. Like you are choosing. Okay, and you if, are I, if I choose to murder. Your ethics and your morals are no higher sir, than mine. Listen, listen, I listen. If I me. choose to murder. Sir, if I choose to murder. Is that good? Unjust, you just said murder is human on human contact and unjustified killing of human on human. How can I yes. murder a fucking, uh oh, I'm sorry, a few, a freaking animal? How can I murder an animal? I'm if asking you a question if, because if I choose to, okay, how about this? Let's not do humans then. If I choose to take a dog and slit its Wait, neck. Wait, you're changing open, your definition sir, of murder stop, now because stop, it doesn't stop, fit stop, and doesn't stop, align stop, with stop, your statement. Stop, so. stop. If I choose to take a dog and slit its neck open, is that good to you? No. But Unless I you're going to eat it. But I, but I chose Unless it. you're going to eat it. But it's my choice. Unless you're going to eat it. But it's my choice. Unless you're going to eat it. But it's Unless my choice. Unless you're going to eat it. I'm Unless not you're going to eat it. it. I'm not going uh, I'm going to eat it. Okay, then yeah, good. It's not wasted. Okay, you're gonna, how about this? You're not, what, if I, what if I have a grocery store next to me where I can eat like a plant-based option? Would it still be okay to kill the dog for no reason? Not for no reason if you're not going to eat it. Okay. So you think if I'm if I'm going to kill a dog and I slit its neck open, that's okay because I'm going to eat the dog, right? Even though I have a grocery store right next to me that that doesn't have to kill any animals. They don't have what I'm looking for. They don't have any type of meat at this grocery store. Like oh my gosh! Cow okay. or chicken. Okay, sir. How, how about this? If I slit the neck of a person open, is that good or bad to you? For no reason. It's just slipping. that's that's. Based on the context right. that you're giving me, and the only this? that is How about this? How about this? If I kill a person for food, is that good? Ooh, now that's a good one. That's a good one. I don't believe in cannibalism by any means. Okay. Well, okay. So it's wrong to kill a person for food, right? Ah, see, that's a tricky wordplay because if they have food I want and it's the end of the world, oh my then God. yeah. It's not the end of the yeah. world, sir. This is an I am legend. This is but you're, you're today. Giving, We're you're talking only about giving today. Me, you're giving Do you me think a little it's bit okay so to a kill a person for food? For okay, sir. Ask today, me again. in today's I'm sorry. world, sir. Listen, listen, listen. In today's I'm world, sorry. I'm in today's sorry. world, do you think it's okay to kill a person for food? Are you saying to eat the person? Why are you taking so food? long? Why are you taking because so long? Because I don't understand your question one hundred percent. Because you're wording it funny, man. Okay, let me ask you if I understand this question. Right. Oh my gosh. 
If I, if I slit a person's neck to eat that person, I believe that that is wrong. But if I slit a person's neck because I'm hungry and I don't have anything and they have food, I can't say that that's wrong, depending on okay, both of our I, let me Let me explain this to you very carefully so that you understand what I'm saying. Okay, thank you very much, because that's what I asked you for 20 you minutes live in You live in 2023. You, okay, have a, you have a grocery store right next to you. All right, that sells me. You're, you're hungry. You decide to mm -hmm. take a person and kill them for food. Is that no, good that's or bad. bad to you? That's bad. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, next question. Now, next question. You're in 2023. You have a grocery store with okay. all the foods you want. Okay, all the food I with, want. With, with yes. plant-based with plant-based options. Okay, that's not the food I would want. Be, but would going. it be okay to take a cow and kill the cow for food? Yeah, well, it depends. Okay, great. So what justifies killing the cow? What name the trait that justifies killing the cow, but not the person? What's the difference? Because I'm going to eat the cow and I'm not going to eat the person. No, the situation was this. In the situation where you're gonna eat the, the person, you didn't have to, that's why you didn't do it, right? So right. what what is the trait that justifies killing the cow when you don't have to eat the cow? What what is the difference? What is the moral difference between the cow and the in the in the person? Well, what makes plant life lesser than animal life? They're not sentient. Mm, mushrooms are. Y'all eat lion's bane and stuff like that. Mushrooms, mushrooms you think, are. You think mushrooms feel pain like animals do? Uh, yes, I think mushroom is. Oh, the okay. Where's of your? Life. Okay, great. So where's your source that that? that fungi are now animals and feel pain. I never said that they were animals. You're taking my words and twisting them. That's not okay. cool. Where's your, I where's stay. your source that animal, where's your source that, that mushrooms feel pain? I feel pain is crazy. Cause there's studies that say lobsters don't feel pain. Oh my gosh, sir. If I eat lobsters, sir. then it's cool. Cause they don't feel pain. Sir, and not listen, listen, them. listen. You're not attacking the argument. First of all, what justifies killing a plant is that they're not sentient. And by the way, vegans kill less plants. Okay. Now, more importantly, can you get back to the argument? What is what the trait? Eating? Sir, listen, listen. What is the trait that justifies killing the cow, but not the person? Name the trait. Hunger and instinct. No, no, no. Instinct. No, no, That's no. My no, 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 sir. Okay, the boom. trait instinct. of the animal. What justifies killing the animal? The trait of the animal that justifies killing the animal, but not the person. What's the trait that, differ that differentiates the two? Communication. Okay, so just because the cow cannot communicate, you get to kill it. Yeah. Okay. Can a baby communicate? Yeah. Babies studies can talk? Shown, you think babies studies, can talk? No, I didn't say talk. I said communicate. Studies have shown that babies do five different types of cries to dictate which type of so do cows. pain they're so do cows. whether they're gassy. So do cows cry. So do cows cry. Mm, that's debatable. No, what it cow is not has told, no, what it cow is has not told you the other truth. Cows absolutely cry. Cows absolutely have depression and anxiety. In fact, cows are more intelligent than babies. What now, does a cow say? We know one answer and one answer only. We no, don't no, know no, that no, cows sir, say I'm sir. sad. Cows cow, say I'm mad. Sir, cows listen, say cows, I'm angry. We know cows say No, no, no. Listen, listen. Based on your definition of communication, cows can communicate. They can cry. They have behavioral changes. They can cry. They have sentience. They have awareness. They understand their family. They cry when their babies are stolen from them. So that is communication. Now, when it comes to the baby, what justifies killing the cow who can communicate just like a baby can versus the baby? What justifies killing mm, the cow? Not the baby? Just like a baby can is crazy, but okay, we'll go with it. I'll say instinct. Cows, both cows and babies have instinct. Oh, you're saying what's the difference between a cow and a baby? Yes. Stay um, on track, buddy. Okay, I'm sorry. That's a good one there. I feel like there's so much that, that there is different, but you will not accept any of those answers. So I, I know there's differences, but there's no moral difference. There's no moral difference? Um... How much are cows helping the world go forward? And how much potential does a baby have to help the world go forward? Think about that. How much is, okay, that's a great answer. 
How about somebody who's mentally challenged or disabled and doesn't have any future, potential future? Is that justified killing they, those people? No, they definitely still have potential. A mentally challenged person who, who can't move or talk. Yeah, that could change the life of their parent and boost them on to change something else about the world. Okay, okay. so can the cow. A cow can help their uh, uh, you're, members. You're reaching, man. Cows, cows I mean, can, I can look at, Cows can I have can relationships with people. Cows can, can look have at a flower. Sir, listen, listen. Cows okay, okay, you go. You go, it's your cows, turn. Cows can influence other people greatly. Right. Cows influence me. Okay, but that's like saying I'm influenced by flowers and I like how flowers and the patterns and leaves and trees grow. Like, so why right. it doesn't but, make but, sense but though. Cows, but cows can influence people in the same ways that humans do. So as then, drastically, then, 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 as drastically then, then, then as, if Then if your argument is that, then you have no argument here. No, I'm saying that. Because there's saying, no, then that means there's no more difference. You're telling me. So the, no, 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 sir. You just conceded. No, 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 sir, sir. Listen, people. listen. You've just conceded that there is no moral difference because they all affect us in the same way. But I'm saying you're saying it's crazy that a cow can influence the world the same way that a mentally challenged person can. Why are you limiting wait, humans? I'm not. Stephen Hawkins. What do you why think are you about limiting, him? Wait, wait, wait. Why are you limiting animals? Because I haven't seen a cow go to the moon. Oh, so you're saying just because I'm a limit, cow is I'm, not I'm mentally living moved. in the reality. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. Your argument okay, is that different. because a cow has never been to the moon, that means we get to kill them. Well, neither has a baby. Uh, a baby definitely has. Neil Armstrong was a baby once. That's, that's not fair. No, we're talking about a baby right now. A baby has no potential to go to the moon. No, neither does a cow. So what but justifies killing a cow? I wouldn't, I wouldn't cow? kill a they're, baby. Though. If they're the same, kill if, they're, a cow. if they're the same, it's the same thing. A baby and a cow is definitely not the same thing. Okay, what's the difference? I just told you. We just had thirty minutes of conversation about it. You haven't justified it. You said that oh, the potential. But I can point to somebody like a baby who has who has cancer and is about to die and has no potential. For any future, saying, we're going to the moon. So that that justify, my life. Is that justify killing a baby who's terminally ill? Is that justify killing them and eating them? I mean, kind of. Oh, killing a baby that's terminally ill? Oh my gosh. Like, why? What the fuck? Guys. No, that doesn't justify killing babies. Are you kidding me? This is where this is what it resorts to, right? Carnist, it resorts to, oh, babies. I can kill babies. Cows have lots of potential. Cows are amazing beings. They're very sentient, very loving beings. They have plenty of potential to help other people. They help me. So the idea that they don't have any potential, therefore we get to kill them is ridiculous. Hey, what do you got, Ben? You guys are way undervaluing the animals. I know it's easy to sit there and say, oh, the animals are just animals, but they're not just animals. They have sentience. They're not just objects. They're individuals, each with their own aspirations and dreams and ability to love and care. Animals are amazing beings. The idea that we just kill them by the billions because we just like the way they taste is to me barbaric. It's not justified at all. Animals but how are you tonight? Food. Hey, what do you got? So, uh, all, all due respect, love that you're vegan. Love, you know, that, no, that's no, no, for no, you. Stop, stop, stop. No, no. Give an argument against veganism or go away. Oh. Easily. Uh, you're killing more animals by being vegan than I am by uh, eating meat. How? Easy. Your tofu, you're killing all the important animals that are under that ground to harvest them, to plant your seeds and everything else for it. Okay. What is tofu made of? Uh, tofu is made out of beans. Soybeans, right? Correct. Did, that did are planted know, in the ground. Yeah. Did you know that 75% of soybeans in the world are fed to animals that you eat? Yes. So how am I killing more if I'm only using maybe 10% of that soy to grow tofu to make tofu? Because, you're, that, 
soy is that soybean still being planted is killing animals underneath the ground where the oh farms are. Man, you, you you didn't get it. Seventy five percent of soybeans are grown to feed your animals. So if you think that animals are dying in crops, you're killing way more crop animals than I am because you're killing way more soybeans. The the fact is you're trying to say we shouldn't eat animals at all but you're still killing no, these animals no that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is uh vegans want to minimize death animal death i'm not saying we can eliminate it i'm saying we can minimize it you want to minimize it but yet oh hey you know you go hunting in your own backyard you kill a deer and you eat it by yourself and that lasts you months that's ridiculous. Deers don't last months. You have to also eat other food. You don't eat just deer, by the way. But more importantly, there's only about 40 million deer in existence. It's not possible for everybody to eat deer. So what you're advocating for is not possible or even likely. But, but you're still killing the animal intentionally. You're still intentionally killing a deer for no good reason. Now, more importantly, we have. that's why we develop factory farming because we have to feed 8 billion people. We can't hunt deer. It's not possible for anybody to, for most, for 99.9% .9 of the population to hunt. So what you're advocating is not true. But more importantly, I don't just care about the number of animals died. I care about the intention behind it. I don't intend to kill any animals, but you do. That's the difference here. So why do you intend to kill the animals? What? I'm not the one killing the animals. animals. I'm the one enjoying what they bring once they're gone. You're, yeah, you're killing, their, you're killing them. You're buying their products. You're killing them. You're taking their lives away. So I'm taking their lives away because I'm eating them when they're already dead because someone yeah. else killed them. So what just I didn't choose to kill them. What what you chose to eat the their, their meat though. So that yes. killed them. So why do you kill animals? Why are you abusing and slaughtering animals that don't have to die? I'm not the one doing it. But you're paying somebody to do it for you. I, I yeah, I'm buying their food, the buying their product. Yeah, and so that's you're, you're yes, but so I'm not the one who was like, so hey, you, oh my god, oh my gosh. So you're paying somebody to kill them for you. That's you're you're choosing to for them to die. You don't have to kill them. You don't Even if them. I personally stopped eating the food, they're still going to die. If I stop murdering, people are still going to be murdered. Does that justify murder? Do you hear yourself? You're like I'm paying someone to kill these can animals. You, can, you, can you refute the argument, or can you engage in the uh, argument, or not? Oh yes, yes. Give me one second. I, I'm just trying to wrap my head. Can I? Because, can I finish my thought? No, because just because you can't eliminate all death and suffering does not justify you causing more death and suffering. That's the point. Well, then why are you eating tofu? Why are you supporting it? Why are you buying it? Because, because you're still killing these tofu, animals. I'm not intended to kill any animals by eating tofu. Exactly. Neither and am I. I. By the way, I'm I just eating their product. Far. You're intending to kill an animal to eat their body. I'm eating what was supplied because someone else already did it. Yeah. You're still is. eating the tofu yeah, even man, though someone listen, killed those animals listen, underneath listen, the ground you, to do it. Do you know how supply and demand works? Every time you buy meat at the store, you're demanding more animal products to be, bro to be bred into existence just so you can eat it. Don't you get it? You're paying for those animals to die. And same go I guess you could say the same with tofu. The more tofu you get, you're saying, hey, I need more tofu, tofu plants out there to kill uh, but, the, those but animals. Eating, but eating plants is minimizing these animal deaths. You're maximizing animal death. Mm, you're also taking away from those animals that would have eaten those plants. No, I'm not. Because sure. How actually, are you not? Actually, actually, you are. Actually, you are. Because if, if we all went vegan, we'd actually save about 70% of land in the world. We would save crops. We would save food for all, uh, for all everybody on the planet. So you're wrong. How, how, how would that, how would that look? Eaters, hey, I'm going to go take this plant that this animal needs to survive, and I'm going to take it away yeah, from them so I because, can eat it. Because you keep forgetting that all the crops that you – all the animals that you kill and slaughter and abuse that you would cause that to, they have to be fed food. Who's going to grow that food for them? We do. We have to grow all these crops just to feed your fucking animals that you kill and slaughter. So you're causing way more abuse and death. And you're causing way more crop destruction and land deforestation. And we have study after study that demonstrates this, that you're causing way more destruction to the habitats and to the animals. You are not here to argue this against me. You have nothing. I have literally backed up everything I've had to say. You're the one over here swearing and making no sense. Oh, really? So here's a study called Reducing Foods and Environmental Impacts to Producers and Consumers. And it demonstrates that we would actually unlock, we would save about 70% of land on the planet if everybody went vegan. We would oh. save land.
Do you agree? Where, and, and where, and where can I find this study so I can read it myself? Sure. It's called Reducing Foods and Environmental Impacts to Producers and Consumers. It's an Oxford study peer-reviewed by Jay Poor and T. Nemanek in the Science Journal of, of uh, Science. Curious. Are, are they vegan themselves? No. This is an Oxford peer-reviewed source. Good. So it's objective. Cool. I will go read it, and I will study that for myself. Great. But Good. but the the idea that you you're saying you know I'm killing these animals you're you're killing these animals you know they're dying one way or another. No, they're not. You're causing more animals to die. Did you know that 80 billion animals in the world are bred in factories just for us to eat? You're causing way more animal death. You're causing way more crop destruction. You're causing way more soybeans to die, and and you're causing way more animals to die in those soybean fields. You're causing the most destruction out of all of us. Vegans have a 75 percent lower carbon footprint too. We're causing less environmental impact. How are you doing that? Because, again, most other resources that we go into making your animals is expensive. We have to grow all these crops. We have to destroy all this land. 90% of the Amazon rainforest is disforested for your animals. We have to actually transport all that food and transport all these things. And then, we, then the methane that is produced by your cows and, and pigs that fart, right, that emit gas, all these contribute to all the greenhouse gases that you're causing. Sure. So we need plants to breathe, right? Yeah. We need oxygen, right? Yeah. So my question is, do you also drink milk at any point or is it almond milk? I don't, I don't drink, I don't drink cow's milk. That's for those are for mm. calves, not for humans. So do you, what kind of milk do you drink? Plant-based milk. Plant-based milk, almond milk, I'm guessing? Almond, oat. Cool. So you're, you're taking away that from animals that need that. No. So again, animals don't care about oats. They don't care about almonds, right? Sure, humans, squirrels do. Okay, humans. But by the way, you're killing way more soy, right? Like, like the point is, you're killing. You're destroying way more crops. You're destroying way more crops for your animals. So you, your argument goes back onto yourself. You are killing way more crops. Do you do you understand this, ma'am? Oh yes. The, okay, so, so, so the, the, the thing is, so you're I'm trying to justify why eating an animal is okay, while you're trying to justify kill, why eating these animals are not okay. That, no, that is what, the premise what, of this what debate. I'm saying, what I'm saying is I'm vegan because I'm minimizing harm and cruelty by a lot bigger thing than you are. I'm causing way less death. I'm causing way less destruction. And I'm causing way less animal suffering. You are maximizing animal suffering. I'm minimizing it. Which one's more ethical to you? So... It doesn't matter the sense of ethical. It matters the sense of survival. We need meat to survive. This, ma'am, you're uh, frankly you are so fucking wrong. This debate is about ethics entirely. What is more? Can you just your your thing says debate a vegan? Can you justify eating an animal? I can. Stop. Stop. stop, stop. What is more ethical to you? To maximize cruelty to the animals or to minimize cruelty to the animals? Animals are not slaughtered in a cruel way that most people yes, think they, they are. are. Yes, they absolutely You ever been are. to a farm out in Montana where we slaughter animals? It's in a safe and great way to do it. Oh, really? How do you do it? How do you slaughter someone who doesn't have to die in a safe way? Easy. Yeah, take their life the fastest way possible where okay. it is harmless okay. and painless for them. Okay. How's that way? How do you do that? In, in ways I can't unfortunately describe on TikTok without getting myself banned. Wow. What do you – how I fucking ironic that is that you can't why even are you, describe Why are you swearing? Like, you want me to take you seriously while you're going to cuss at me? Yeah, because, ma'am, what you're doing is by your own logic wrong. It's abuse, and you know it. You're taking away the lives of these animals for no fucking reason. And the fact that you can't even say what you're doing to the animals tells me that it's not safe and that it's not justified and it's not humane or compassionate. You are taking away their lives for no reason. All because what? You like the way they taste. That's garbage. Taste does not justify killing somebody. Now, please, for the last time, give me a justification for killing innocent animals and don't have to die. And by the way, a lot of animals in factories are terribly they live in terrible ways. They sit in their own feces. They sit in their own urine. They can't move. They can't breathe. There's so much dust in these things. They develop pneumonia. 80% of factory farm pigs develop pneumonia. They can't breathe. And then they get gassed to death in gas chambers. That is not humane. And you're causing this to happen. I'm so causing this to happen. Give a justification for this. 
So I can't justify why well, killing animals is important. I can justify while eating them, which is the premise of your debate, by the way. Can you, you justify eating an animal? Eat them. You have to kill them to eat them. Okay, so so we're, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll state that step back. So, yes, you do need to kill them to eat them. Okay, Overpopulation so with animals. What justifies killing and eating these poor animals that don't have to die? Let's go. Let's hear it. So what justifies killing and eating these animals besides we need them to live? No, we don't. Do you we're predators. Humans are predators. We, are we need meat to survive. We, we don't have to eat meat to survive. We can eat plant-based foods instead. Really? What's the longevity of a life of someone who's purely vegan from the time they're born to their expiration? There are, there are vegans that are 100 years old. Really? Yeah. What's your point? And by uh, the way, this my is guy, so, my guy, if I can't take you seriously, if you're not going to take this conversation no, no. seriously. Scientifically backed that, that the position of the Academy to Dietetics and Nutrition is that all vegans who have well-planned diets are perfectly suitable for all stages of life. This is doctors and nutritionists around the world. Peer-reviewed research that demonstrates your right. so, so, so I answered your question. My question to you is, if you're not going to take this conversation seriously by making faces or swearing, wh wh why are you even hosting this yeah. life? Give me a refutation. Give me an argument that justifies killing animals or go away because you can't do it. And well, you I asked you a question. You want me to answer yours so badly? I will absolutely answer it. But I, I need, I need to know why, why you're making justify, faces. Justify, justify killing animals. Let's hear, let's hear it. Hey, you first. Why are you making faces? Because I, I'm so perplexed by the idea that you think it's okay. I don't think you understand what the word perplexed reason. means. Because what we're doing to the animals is, to me, insanely wrong, and I don't understand it. How we treat them like garbage. How we treat them like crap in factory farms. We treat them like objects, like slaves that we get to exploit at any time we want to. That is why I'm making these faces, because this is insane to me. Now, can you justify this, in, this madness? Yes, because we need it to survive. We're predators. We Humans are predators. We can eat plant-based foods to survive. Do you agree? Can we? I don't know. I've yes. never tried it. Well, then maybe you should. Hmm. Maybe I should. Maybe I should give being plant-based solely for how long would you say it would be a great experimentation? One month. One month. Okay. So in one month's time, so if I let's say I start tomorrow, one month's time, solely vegan, I come back. And we can have a further conversation on how you could be right, how I could be wrong. Would you be open to that? Great. Yeah. Do it. So you'd be open to having that further conversation? Of course. All right. Cool. I will hold you to that. I will see you in one month. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Go vegan, guys. There's no justification. Hello. Hey, what's your argument? Um, I agree with that lady about um, we need to survive and eating meat. I don't agree with how they're slaughtered because it's inhumane. But the, but sir, we need what to is, survive on Sir, what is your argument that justifies killing animals? Well, my argument is, is that first we need to, we need to survive on it. It, it provides us. Sir, with I've survived. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you guys make this stupid argument. I've survived for five years but, and just fine. There are people that have survived for can I just ask, years. Can, as I, can I just ask a question to you? Can I, can I, as a vegan person yourself, can I just ask a question? Because this really bugs me about vegan people. Do you mind? I do. This is not a Q&A. This is a debate stage. And if you don't have an argument, you don't have a place in this debate. It's not Dr. Phil. This is not Jerry Springer. This is a debate. Hey, what do you got? Michelle? Hello? Hello. Hi, I didn't realize I was on, Mike. What's up? Nothing. What do you got for us today? Oh, I just have a couple questions. I was going to ask you if you drink milk. Uh, I drink plant-based milks, yes. Thank you. Okay, and do you, and do you wear clothes? Yeah. So what are clothes made out of? 
Uh, polyester, synthetics, cotton, which are all plant-based. Nothing to do with animals? Nope. What about, like, wool? You don't wear wool? Nope. And do you think we need plants to survive? We need something. We need to eat food to survive. But more importantly, we don't no, need No, but do we need to plants to survive? Like, how do we breathe air and all that stuff? <sighs> Ma'am, can you please stay on track here? What is your argument against veganism? I'm just asking you a question. You don't need to have this an attitude. Not, be grown. This is not a Q&A, ma'am. This is a debate. Well, be grown. You, you are asking questions. I'm asking you questions. No, you have to give an argument or you're going to go away. You're going to go bye-bye. I'm going to go bye-bye? Yeah. Give an argument or go bye-bye. <laughs> My argument is, do you, do you fucking drink milk? That's not an argument. That's a question. <laughs> Stay on track, ma'am. Stay on track. Okay. What's up? What is your problem? Did you not used to eat meat? No, ma'am. I, I did used to eat meat, but then I became vegan about five years ago because I realized how the unjust, uh, the unjust things we're doing to the animals. It's wrong. That's why. I'm yeah, vegan. but you're still a hypocrite and because what? you used to fucking love that meat, didn't you? No, but more importantly, you never loved meat. Then why the, the fuck did you eat it? it? Ma'am, the past doesn't matter. We're talking about today. What no, I'm do? talking about like in the past. What about it doesn't that? Matter. It doesn't matter. What justifies killing animals today? Um, what justifies killing plants? We have to eat something to survive and plants are less. Yeah, but difficult. plants have feelings yes. too. We all like fucking breed and shit and we all feel. Okay, so give us your source that plants have feelings. Um, I just know. Give me a source that animals have feelings. Oh my God, they have brains, limbic <laughs> systems, prefrontal cortices. This is literal proof that animals feel pain. Yeah, you but can God ain't smack me. Them. You smack them in God the face. Ain't me. If you're but God ain't me. God doesn't exist. <laughs> well, then fucking um, vegan doesn't exist. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm real. Your God's not real. Yeah, I know. You're just a plant. I wish I could eat you. Your mom did it already for me, so it's all good. Oh! <laughs> Next. Bring dumper. Bad egg. Like the Willy Wonka. The bad egg. Hello? What do you got? <clears throat> um, so I, I think they're just good, you know? Like, okay. That's so, that's like the justify of eating them. Okay, so what if I like the way people taste? Is that justify killing people? Mm, I mean, if you really want to. But no, not no, many people so like you, eating. Do you think it's people. okay to murder somebody for taste? Um, no, but an animal is not a somebody. It's an animal. Okay, do you know that cows feel pain just like humans do? Do you know that? Mm-hmm. Do you know yeah. that cows are? Do you know that cows are conscious, just like people are? Yeah. Do, do you know that? Do you know that cows have personalities, just like humans do? No. Well, they do. Cows have personalities. Yeah. They have personal personal traits. They have different brain states, just like we do. They have they have family members. They have love. They have compassion. They care for their young, just like humans do. Cows are very much like humans in many ways. Sure, we're not exactly the same. No person is. Nobody is. But we are very similar to the animals in a moral sense. So what justifies killing a cow but not a person? Um, a cow is not as intelligent as a person. A cow can't a cow can't willingly kill a person. It's a in defense. So they're not as smart as people and so what if, how, about a, how about a baby? Is it uh, we know that cows are actually smarter than human babies. Does that justify killing babies because they're not as smart? No, it doesn't. But okay, great. So then intelligence, like, then intelligence is not a prerequisite, prerequisite to killing an animal. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. if they're intelligent or not. What matters is there's no justification. Mm. But man, you're real good at this. But still, like at the end of the day, like those animals are just tasty man like there's nothing i can do about it okay well you can do something about it you can stop eating them you can stop abusing them in factories just because the way they taste think about how long you taste them 
what, how long does it take you to eat meal? 10 minutes, maybe, maybe 15 minutes max. You're willing to slaughter and kill an animal and take its life away. It's only life it has just for 10 minutes of taste. That's very selfish to me. That's wrong to me. Mm. Well, I don't know. What about all the animals that are already dead? What are you going to do with those ones? Just I'm not going to touch them. I'm going to, I'm going to leave them alone. I'm not going to touch any animal or exploit them. I'm going to leave them alone. They, there's, they deserve respect just like we do. Uh, I don't know. I had a ribeye tonight and it Okay. Well, if your only argument is going to go back to, oh, the taste, the taste, that's not a good argument. Taste does not justify killing. All right. One last guest here, because we have a lot of people today, which is great. So thank you for the show. Yeah. Thank you for all, all the people coming in and liking and, and watching. Really appreciate you all, all the support. Even though most of you guys are not, are against vegans. Uh, Yo. So appreciate you. Yo. Hello. Yep. What's your argument? Uh, rather the gains. What do you mean? I get plenty of gains as a vegan. Like I got plenty of gains. Okay. I, I mean, I hear you, but, uh, also I grew up on a farm and I produce meat and, uh, I don't care. I don't care. So what's, what's your justification for killing animals? Um, bread and gains. Bread? Money, sir. Oh, yeah. You, you, so you can, you can actually grow crops and get money, too. You can do other things to get money. You sound pretty, uh, non-alpha. You sound pretty, like, pretty much like an animal abuser. Yeah, I am, and uh, it goes straight to the buys. <laughs> okay. Well, enjoy your abuse, sir, because you have no ethics, and I can't debate somebody who has no ethics. All right. Um, one last guest here. Um, <laughs> Emily's up here. Should I bring Emily back up? Oh. oh, um, so if I was an animal, would you eat me? Uh. <laughs> um, it depends. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, cool. That's all I wanted. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. I think that's it for today. Um, yeah, I'm tired. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow. Emily can get my snap, link in bio, or my Instagram. Um, yeah, so, you know, I don't want to kill animals. I don't want to harm them if I don't have to. Um, 80 billion of them die every year. Just think about what we're doing. Think about where your food comes from. Think about what you're doing to the animals before you do it. Think about where your food's coming from. Educate yourself on the animals. Learn about the animals and who they are, that they are sentient individuals, each with their own brains and feelings and emotions and love. They don't have to die. A lot of the animals are treated poorly in factories. 15% of them are still conscious while they're being slaughtered. It's not a good practice. A lot of things slip under the radar in factories. We're pushing billions of them through the, through the systems, which to me is wrong. We can change, we can do better. And even if you don't care about the animals, well, the environment can benefit from your choices too. Vegans have a 75% lower carbon footprint or better for the environment or better. If you don't want to kill trees, go vegan. Vegans kill way less trees. We kill less crops. There's no good reason to not be vegan at all. It can be perfectly healthy. 
perfectly happy as a vegan. Just educate yourself and learn. What is my Snapchat? Link in my bio. By the way, everybody go follow my YouTube. This will be up tomorrow on my YouTube as well. So if you missed some of it, you can watch it. Everything's in the link in my bio. All the links are in my bio. You can go check that out. Please follow my YouTube. I need more followers there. Um, subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the gifts. Appreciate all of you guys. Um, go vegan and don't kill the animals. Let them be. You know, we all say we love our freedom here in America, right? Freedom don't come free. Well, then why do you take it away from the animals? Why do you take away their freedom? Why? They don't have to die. Especially, they especially don't have to be abused for that. So just think before you eat. Um, let me see. Okay. Then what do animals exist for? They're, they're not here for you. They're going to be free and happy. Just like everybody else's. I'm here to be free and happy. I'm not here for you. Just like the animals. Plants feel pain. So people you often use this argument. So people often often use this argument that plants feel pain. Um, well, unfortunately, there's many things wrong with us. Number one, plants don't have the capacity to be like humans in terms of feeling pain. They don't have the capacity to process pain or emotions. Um, they don't have brains, they don't have nervous systems, they don't have pain receptors. They don't feel pain in the way we do. But more importantly, um, there are different degrees of consciousness and awareness. There are different degrees of sentience. Plants, if they have sentience or consciousness to some degree, it's at the very lowest levels. There's very minimal activity going on there versus someone like a cow or a pig or a chicken who has way more sentience, right? We can measure their brain states. They, they, they can get depression, anxiety. But there's no evidence that plants can do that. Furthermore, vegans kill less plants. So again, this further uh, solidifies my point that we, we want to minimize cruelty. And being vegan absolutely minimizes cruelty, not just to the animals, the, but to the, also the environment and to the plants as well. So if you care about plants, if you think plants feel pain, then go vegan because vegans kill less plants. Do I eat eggs? Nope, I don't eat any eggs or dairy products. They're not required. Um, in fact, they're actually very unhealthy for you. Also bad for the hens that lay them because we, we have to... See, people don't realize this, but we, we have artificially selected many hens and chickens to lay so many eggs that their bodies are breaking. Their bones are becoming more, 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 more formed because they're deficient. All the eggs, they're laying so many eggs that their nutrients are being, you know, leaving their bodies and throughout the eggs and their bones are breaking so many chickens many hens that are laying these eggs in factories they are sitting in their own feces they can't move because their bones are breaking because we've artificially selected them to grow so many for us we've exploited their bodies and that to me is wrong um cow's milk also by the way the, the when we, when we lay these eggs, a lot of the chicks that are produced are slaughtered immediately. They're thrown in, into a, 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 a grinder. That's ridiculous. That's disgusting, right? We throw them right into the grinder because they're useless to farmers. That's wrong. Now, when it comes to cow's milk, a lot of cows are forced, bred into existence. They're forced to be inseminated and they are impregnated for us so that they can become they can grow milk. People don't realize this, but cows have to, have to be pregnant to give milk. So what we are doing is artificially selecting cows to produce so much milk that they can become, they can develop infections into diseases if we don't milk them. 
So we are making these poor animals reliant on ourselves. And in the process, we are abusing them. We are exploiting their body parts like slaves. It's disgusting. And it can stop. Cow's milk is not for humans. It's for baby calves. And the saddest part of all this is that we're taking away their babies. A lot of cows cry for days because their babies are taken away from them. Cows are extreme, extremely motherly. They hate having their babies stolen from them. And they know what's happening. They're very aware. And they don't want to be taken. They don't want their babies stolen from them, just like we don't. So this could all be prevented by just being vegan. All this could be pre prevented by being vegan. We treat these animals like objects. They're not objects. If we just learned more about who the animals are, if we all were shown what happens to these animals before we ate them, we'd all be vegan. But guess what happens? They hide it from you. You have to go out of your way to look at videos in factory farms. They don't really show it often because they're hiding it from us. That's why there's cl they're enclosed. They, there's, no, there's no windows in factory farms. They don't want you to see what happens inside of it because it's not humane. It is wrong. And we're doing it by the billions. Since I started this live, at least 6 million chickens have died. Think about how many thousands of chickens around the world are being killed right now. Slaughtered. Their necks slit open. Bleeding out to death. And in the process, many of them are aware and conscious while they're being killed. It's not a perfect way. We don't... Factory farming is not a perfect method in which we every animal dies instantly. That's not how it happens. Many of them are still aware and conscious while they're being killed. It's a consequence of us demanding so many. And this is a fundamental problem. There's a fundamental issue here of how we see and observe these animals. We view them as objects. We view them as slaves. Just like we viewed other people as slaves 100 years ago, 200 years ago. We are now viewing the animals as slaves. And there's this consciousness is shifting. We're shifting. We're starting to realize that we're doing what we're doing is wrong. And then animals are very much like us. Very much like us. They don't deserve to die. There's no reason why they have to die. So, to me, there's no reason to justify that.